Yeah, here we go. Play more Snoop game. Or less. Or less. Well, yeah, I guess it depends on how much we play. Well, we, we can't play less. Because we, we can't undo the past. I can. Shh, shh. <laughs> oh, a uh, fool I've been. Do you want to put it on the game? Yeah. Do you remember any of the shit we did? Um, we tried to be invisible at school. Uh, you went to a garden, you went to a concert where people were mean to... Uh, so we're some kid who's triggered by people asking him why he's in a new school. Yeah. Because he did something. Some weird backstory. A little shaky because it was like it took me one day to decide, but it took 15 days for me to come. You know, that whole yeah. shtick, but yet six months something. Uh, I only had six months in my last school, but now I have one full year at this school because I chose to change schools, and this is better. <laughs> but I hate this. But I hate it. Uh. The. The confused little girl. Just had like an outrage. She had to go calm herself down. Mr. Farnsworth kicked her out for a moment. Yeah, the 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 Farnsworth dinosaur professor. He's got. Does he have a boner for Orange Lady? No, he doesn't like her. That's what he acts like. He's like she's so annoying. And then asked her. He's like you're too sweet. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, yeah, this fucking... Yeah. And you're gonna say, uh, yeah. I guess so. I feel like there's no other... I mean, they're obvious... Unless I just quit this fucking game. <laughs> That's the third option. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, they don't... Oh, yeah. Doesn't seem like it's something she wants to hear right now. She don't want to hear nothing ever unless you tell her exactly what she Oh, you're such a good role model. You're such a good rock star. I love your music. You don't need to practice for people to love you. You could be you. Well, because, you know, I'm no good at the music, but you should still like me because well, I'm... Something something doesn't owe you androgyny, but I don't fucking owe you anything. I don't owe you pronouns. How about that? <laughs> <sighs> so, um, your name's her sister, right? Sibling. Right. Suck. Or to fucking, I didn't, I deliberately chose to not apologize. You gotta make more choices in this. If you're gonna make a visual novel. Dot, dot, dot. There's a brief pause until Fang speaks up again. Yes, Nazer's my baby brother, my baby sibling. Why do you ask? I was just curious. Neighbor's been helping me settle into the school. Nazer? Or it sounded like you said neighbor. <laughs> Who? Hey there, neighbor. <laughs> Give me your sandwich. Of course he did. Just wish you'd keep better my fucking business with you, that dudes. Uh, sure. If you're going to talk to somebody, isn't it best to talk directly to them? People try. This is high school, I guess, after all. Everybody's got to speak under their breath, because, God forbid, you have something to say, you know, straightforwardly. Actually, unless it's actually. Actually. Thinking about Nazer. Oh, we were talking about how it it, it gives them something to talk about. When they have, like, I don't know, something angry, something to be angry about, like pronouns or whatever, it gives them a, a, a hill to stand on or something. Yeah. Whereas every other opinion, every other something is just mousy. Oh, I don't really know what. Mm. It's more that he worries a bit too much for that sister of his. Well, we know where she stands oftentimes. 
When I'm with him, he's anxious about something she's done. He told me about what happened the other day. Sorry to hear something like that happen to you and your band. She didn't say nothing. What do you care? I don't know. That's a problem. Suddenly, my shoes seem more interesting than the conversation at hand. Well, I guess he doesn't care then. Just uh, like just, you! Just think it's messed up people... Just think it's messed up people would go to a show just to laugh at you. They went for pizza maybe as well, unless nobody ate the pizza. Guess you aren't that awful. Unlike every other guy in the school. Dot dot dot. The rest of the period passed between continued small talk with Fang. She seemed to be controlling the conversation, though. No. Well, what the fuck are you saying? You don't want to be there. Right? Yeah. Seemed to be. When the bell rings, Fang whips out her phone and immediately starts tapping away. Turns out they're both shit posters. <laughs> You're going to your next class? Who cares about being late? Oh, that's you. Dang it. Who cares about being late? Fair. See you then. She lazily waves at hand, a hand at me, and I make my way to my next class. This guy seems to have more concern for the boring shit that he's doing. I, I put every single thing in my backpack and then I headed to a class, you know? It's, but everything else is like, I don't care, but also now I'm talking like I do care. There's some deception. It's very, it's very much like how people are. And then we, you start pretending like you care. We're like, oh, he's so sweet. And then it turns out you're not. And we feel like an asshole. You're like, I was just saying, you know, what was supposed to be nice. You know? Yeah. <sighs> oh, geez. Just period mathematics. I think the thing you clicked said. What? Unfortunately, fifth period is mathematics. <coughs> I'm barely keeping myself awake while Mr. Carl Sladuski gives a lecture on the inverse of tangents. Huh? Ah! Aiden! I sit ramrod straight. Uh, at the direct address. Are you freaking listening? Come on, finish this freaking problem on the freaking board. He gets intimidated by men and then just kind of whatever's... He's kind of like just whatevering everything except for when stronger men are like poking at him. Just says kind of like what should be said. Sorry, you know. Uh. Just one social disaster after another today. Is that a social disaster? That was like a badge of honor getting yelled at the teachers, you know. You see how fucking hot you could get them. <laughs> see if you could get them to scream. We got one that used to talk in third person. Mrs. Blah, 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 doesn't, you know, act all fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, no. Developing nervous twitches. Yeah. Damn. I hated them. I hate, I hate fucking authority. <laughs> they deserve it. It's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop doing what I want to do be under the duress of fucking punishment? You want to fucking punish me? I'll punish you. 
<laughs> Titty milk. Unbold. Huh? Unbold. Unbold. Oh, yeah. Hesitantly, I slide out of my chair and trundle my way to the whiteboard, trying to decipher the runes I'm expected to make sense of. Well, why did you? Why did he just say we were learning about integer tangents? It's like <clears throat> language, right? Uh huh. Using that language, I feel like is supposed to assume that you know that language. Why not yeah. describe the thing the best you can so that you know how much you know about that thing? Right? Yeah. Because then when people don't know it but pretend like, no, they're like, oh, duh, you know, let's vomit out whatever fucking words somebody else said. What's an integer tangent? An inverse tangent? An, an, an inverse tangent. Is that the lowest instead of the highest? Peak? Because a tangent is the peak of a pattern, right? When there's a moving mm. line that goes like up or down like stonks. Can you, can you say that again, wife? When a line moving through time like stonks is going up or down. Yeah. On a chart, I yeah, guess, a graph. Yeah, it's it's the uh, it's it's the, the maximum is the top. Yeah, the maximum would be the top. The tangent is the tangent is a line that touches any point on just a single point on that curve. It's the slope of the curve at that point. So it's How just a changing. curve that's on below, like a low a minus curve instead of a positive curve. Like on the circle. It would be the line that touches just this tip and keeps going. That would be the tangent of this point, and then the tangent of this point would be the one that touches it. So, way. is an invert an inverse tangent a line that goes down instead of up? I don't remember what an inverse tangent is. Why did you I, even I go think, to school? I, Why do I, they teach you things? Uh. Apparently, it was needed to know at some point, but not for most things. Okay. Maybe I do need to know it. I just lock that shit away. We gotta know everything. It's the best to know everything, right? Yeah. We're doing this in the daytime. I'm, like, distracted by all the stuff in the house. Yeah. Like, I don't normally sit here. I'm like, bookcase, fucking table <sighs> over there. Too much stuff to look at. It's my ADD. <laughs> oh no, you're being stimulated. Oh no. Double time now. You stimulate my... Ooh, shit. The thingy was going back and forth. Stimulate what? me with words, too. Okay. Hesitantly, I slide out of my chair and trundle my I way to the... I said two. <laughs> you can't do three things at the same time? Uh, <laughs> to decipher the runes I'm expected to make sense of. Mm. Only I never made it to the whiteboard. Three rows down, my foot catches on a loose backpack strap in the aisle. Well, why don't you just be... What is it? Humiliated? Not humiliated. When you're humbled. Or whatever. You're like, oh, maybe I should look out where I'm fucking going next time. Oh, time to shoot up the school, I guess. <laughs> Luckily, I fell sideways, and there was a cold, hard desk in the way to catch my fall. Instead of you fucking million-dollar baby yourself, or she like hits the stool or some shit, breaks her neck, uh, or maybe that's in a parody. Either way, she like breaks her neck, and Morgan Freeman or Clint Eastwood, whoever's the, uh, kills her, because he didn't want no retard boxing no. Tournaments. <laughs> There's no free tarts for me. Yeah. Take your potatoes and get into the fucking stew. <laughs> fucking veggie. 
To the chuckles of the rest of the class, I look up from my final resting place to see a massive pink and white muzzle. Dude. Like a deer caught in headlights, I can only stare and wait for him to continue. You're on my desk, man. My senses return to me and I quickly get up, picking up and returning the pencil that flew to the floor in a flurry of apologies. Always, why are you apologizing? You're so hard, you're so badass, you want to have nothing to do with nothing, but saying sorry prevents you from having, like, conversations or what is that, um... Confrontations? You're really bad at deciphering my movements. I was trying the back and forth. I kind of give and take between, uh... I get, just, uh... Between, uh, confrontations. So it's like, let me give up something that somebody obviously wants. People want apologies, right? Yeah. And he just fucking, he just gives them up. Then I recognize just whose desk I fell on. It's that drummer in Fang's band. It's the person who was like, oh, what? I just don't have... Don't I just have the luck of the devil? What if, does that mean? Giving one last apology. Like, the worst luck. Luck that only bad things happen. So oh, yeah. I guess the, oh, beyond lucky. Uh, given one last apology, I head to the front of the room to solve the whiteboard problem. That looks like a blackboard. Oh, there is a whiteboard there too. Why would they need both? That's kind of crazy. Rich ass schools. I tried solving the problem to the best of my ability. That's a lot of fucking books S that around. Still took two solid minutes. That's fine. Math takes a while. After circling my answer, I look expectantly at Miss. Carl Sladuski, who gives a nod, finally turning around to return to my seat. I freeze. Right there in the front row is the last member of the band, Trish. I stumble back to my desk. Mr. Carl Sladuski gives each row a stack of papers to pass back. Why is everything so intense? I feel like maybe kids kind of created that environment for each other because they were all on edge. They all don't know what the fuck's going on. <sighs> Incurring their own drama. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Alright. Here's a freaking homework covering today's lesson. Use page 279. I'll give you the last. 15 freaking minutes of class to work your freaking peers. Mr. Carl Sladuski returns to his desk and pulls out a math book with a monthly romance novel crudely stuffed inside it. Gross. With a very detailed centerfold by the way, uh, by the way, he turned it sideways. Looking ahead to Reed's desk, he is joined by Trish, who's trying to get him to get started. Trying to get him to get started. I <laughs> think I can feel their eyes following. Back at my desk, I glance over the math sheet. Page 279. Right. It looks like I finally get to use that phone book of a math textbook. Where is it? Pick uh, any one of the hundreds of books that are stacked up on those desks. Yeah. If they're like that, there's probably for the class. You just got them in the class. Each person who sits says it's got this, everybody's got the the shit there. What an like, abusive fucking system. Those thousands of pounds fucking books don't not considering at all. Number one that they're fucking useless, but number two that. To have to have something like that on you at all times at all. You know? 
what, smaller books throughout the semester would be ridiculous. One lesson per book. The, 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 they just don't give a shit. No. And neither do the teachers. If the teachers, oh, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. So were the fucking police that didn't go into the Columbine school. You know? Fucking losers. Adults are fucking losers. <laughs> Aren't <laughs> adults the worst? So dumb. Uh, I open my backpack, and instead of my math textbook, it's the Saturnia Collectible Edition art book I splurged on yesterday. But he didn't have food to eat. Is it the Saturnia Collection? Oh, I said that. Yeah. Well, I was just commenting how this motherfucker ate this guy's poor. He oh, he's a bro. You're not a bro. What is a fucking collector's edition? Fucking blah 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 nonsense. But you can't eat. That seems. That seems ridiculous. I'm frozen. I can't move an inch. Did I grab the wrong book this morning? Is someone playing a sick joke? Who would be playing this joke? <laughs> he lives fucking alone, for one. <laughs> what a ridiculous place to go. That's how insanity starts or continues. By saying dumb shit like that to yourself. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, how could I bring this to school? Something bounces off my head and lands on my desk. It's enough to snap me back to reality, and I shove my backpack under my desk, furiously zipping it. Furiously. On my desk is a balled up wad of paper. Oh, great. I was hoping to avoid these chain notes. I unfurl the ball and read the note. Look up. I look up to see the purple one waving me over. Grabbing my stuff, I shuffle over slowly to the duo. So, compadre. I have a bad feeling about Reed. Those eyes are very feminine. You think he's gonna try to touch our human butt? No, I think he's on fucking her oh, hormones or something. <laughs> <laughs> The he is not a he, in fact, but just a unclever ruse uh, to disguise fucking sexuality and imagination. Uh, suck. See, he's my class partner, so I look out for him. How are you looking out for your class partner, Anan? Wow, it's always this fucking crap with these chicks. <laughs> Enforcing the social contract? Having good conduct and mutual respect so you can leave class and go on with your life? What does that mean? We had that book, The Social Contract. Yeah. But it had nothing to do with fucking dumbass dinosaurs fucking blah 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 and all over the place. <laughs> Dinosaurs on human growth hormone. How does that work? This. Uh, what's this about? I'm good, thank you. I'm getting distracted. And you're getting distracted too. Feels weird. Too many things going on at <laughs> once. Right. That's just life though. It's like, oh, do I got a problem? Because there's so many, like, uh, I can't do too many things at once because I come over stimulated and get confused. Uh, that's probably everybody. They just try really hard because they get paid X amount of dollars to be forced to do that. So it's like, oh, I should be able to do that because people get paid to do this. That's not how you're supposed to live. You don't get in touch with your feelings outside or it just without touching the barriers, you know? 
if if you're not happy with how people fucking treat you and like job shit, then you don't know yourself. Uh, I'm overstimulated. Ugh. I'm too fat to be fucking sticking to a chair. <laughs> I feel fucking 27 months pregnant. A certain friend of mine is partnered with you in science, right? What are you the fucking fop, please? Wait. Oh. You mean Fang. They just messaged me before class, said they had to be partnered with a skinny... A skinny bigot. Then proceeded to show them... That's fucking gross. I remember in, like, school, girls, because boys are the way they are, would try to defend each other, but in a way it's kind of defending yourself, you know? Going up to people like, ah, you better fucking be nice to her, you know? Kind of for a different, if somebody was going out on a date, perhaps, or things of that uh -huh. nature. Uh... But to be, like, such a fucking rude bitch with this fucking skinny bigot shit. It's like, hey, you look like you belong on a maple syrup fucking Is it... <laughs> cartoon, uh, what, a canister. Isn't, uh, the skinny, like, the, the derogatory name for him? Uh, human. He's a, he's a fucking skinny. So it's a racist term. Yeah, and, and so she's just, just like, dig it. <laughs> <laughs> That's life, though. Right now. And for, like, ever. Everybody's telling you that you're doing the wrong thing while doing the wrong thing, basically. I had a feeling you'd be him. Am I going to have to tolerate humiliation from these Meteor Dodgers, too? Meteor Dodgers, because there was, like, they evolved from the dinosaurs that got killed off by the meteors or whatever. Oh. Hmm. My head is starting to hurt. Hopefully we can just get started on with these math exercises. Well, it makes sense then for what, what, oh, what was it? Uh, meteor dodgers or something else? When he was posting on 4chan? Yeah, uh, or having a job. Um, I get the shit posts now and then he's trying to get the, but he's like the only human so it doesn't matter. They all know it's him. If they're talking, somebody's talking about dinosaurs, it's always going to be him. He's the only not dinosaur. <laughs> Nobody else refers to this fucking dinosaur. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did, I, did we read this one? Is that why? Why don't you tell me instead of just <sighs> let me sit here fucking waiting for you? <sighs> yeah, that was me. I apologize, though. Ugh. I know and I appreciate it. I'm Trish and this is Reed. We're Fang's best friends. Uh huh. What about you? Now you tell us about yourself. Uh oh. <laughs> Red alert. Hot dog. There is no way I'm telling anyone, especially these people. They're not people. They're meteor dodgers. And if they find out where I was a few days ago. Uh, I'm Anon. And I'm a human. I got here Monday. That is all. We know that. We want to know what where you're from, what you've been doing since you got here, if you have any friends. I've been doing nothing. I don't really care about friends. She doesn't look very convinced by that answer. Right! 
You know that Nazer dude, right? Hey, yeah, I saw you with that slut Naomi earlier, too. Damn, you fucking judgy cunt. Sure. They're all, every single one of these people are stupid. <laughs> Trish squints her eyes at me. Like a Chinaman? The... <laughs> well, more so. With a lizard. But with, with a dog's head. head. They were welcome... Uh, they were my welcoming committee. They helped me get settled. Nothing besides that. R oh. Right. Didn't Nazer or Naomi invite you to anything, or... Starting fucking trouble. No, I don't remember. I've been trying to get them off my back. But what? why you ask? Wow, talk about not being a bro, right? He doesn't want to- he doesn't want to describe himself, but then he starts molding himself to what people do. I guess just mold themselves to whoever whoever's company they're in. Huh. I know I've done it. I know you've done it. I've seen people do it, you know? They just change. Ugh, I've been trying. I've been trying. How have you been trying? Like, you're adding extra information. You're giving them... Tell me about yourself. I've been trying to get people off my back. Great. We had a concert last week. Nacer and Naomi invited a bunch of assholes to ruin it. Uh, suppose if we had seen a human in that crowd, we would remember, right? <laughs> you yeah. got laughed at. Yeah, haha. <laughs> it's like, stop being fucking stupid. Concert? Am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they invited me here to solve math problems. We have a band, and I'm the lead bassist. Bang's the vocalist and secondary bass, and Reed is the drummer. So what? And the songwriter. He just comes up with the funny song title. Uh, that's very neat. Would love to listen to your band someday. I drag my chair backwards and clumsily rise from my seat. It was great meeting you guys. I'll be going back to my desk, though. Why? Great. Oh, damn it. Always doing that. Uh, wait, I'm not done with you yet. What? I really should be started on... I really should get started on the homework. Homework? Homework? <laughs> it's important. Look at me! She has a very serious look on her face. She's not saying anything. Her, her glaring through the back of my skull makes me think she means business. Her glaring through... The back of my skull. God! Come on. Let's just keep having it. Her glaring through the back of my skull. The glare she projected through the black back of my the black of my skull. <sighs> Bang is happy! They found something about... Uh, she found something about herself she likes. And I helped her through a dark time. She made up her mind. How many fucking times he... <laughs> she? She self? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no wonder Nazar seemed so confused by this. <coughs> She don't need people in her life that might hurt or confuse her. Uh, life is confusing. If you're not working with people, you'll never figure out what it is. 
It's like everybody's in their own little cult or the, their own little cult member or something. Hiding away from the world, fucking not knowing shit about shit. Where do you end up? Your goddamn stupid ass imagination. She have we. We have her. Band. We make music. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I look out for me because I care for me. Me been hurting because of those dicks. I'm doing my part in assuring me. Was that what I saw her doing earlier? Looks more like a one trigger trig out. I don't understand. <sighs> well, you see. We exist in two worlds at the same time. <laughs> in one, you want to be whatever the fuck you want to be, and in the other, you can't be that fucking person. But you keep trying to convince people if, as, 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 an antagonizing situation is the most okay to get what you want. Just like a fucking baby. But nobody knows that because nobody's having children anymore, so... They're like, yeah, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, you know? It was gross. My point is, don't upset me. I just want to solve math problems. You didn't want to do that. Ew, why don't you uh. just go, fuck you? You didn't want to just do shit posts on fucking 4chan. Stick up for yourself when it's necessary. I, er, uh, yes ma'am. Once again, she is just glaring at me. Did you just call me she to her? Fucking hell, my stupid legs. Stop shaking. Out of anger? I'll take this opportunity. Uh, thank you for the lesson, Trish. I'll keep that in mind. See ya. Why is that? I, I'm so confused why that is the, the response. Has, is that how far children have sunk into this shit? Where they're just kind of re reiterating what other people say. What other people want them to say, sorry. Yeah, diffuses the situation. But, gives up who you are, I guess. Did I ever say sorry? Not, just, you know, use words, don't give them value. Never. I'd rather just fucking spit in their face. You treat me like we're having a conversation and you listen to both sides instead of being a fucking crack whore. <sighs> you want this? <laughs> <laughs> Reed holds out a sheet of paper. Help me. She's holding me fucking captive. It's a copy of the homework assignment. Ooh, the benefits of using using uh, fucking uh, words how other people want you to. Oh, eight is complete. Oh. Hold on. All I... the trannies get fucking the answers. Shit. It's they it's their right as confused fucking children to pass math in the worst way. Hold on. I thought you were the one needing help. Expect or respect my right to not know math. Shh. The friend of a friend who's a friend that helps me is also my friend too. Uh? I don't think that's how the saying goes. You're sharp, and Ridge, I shot. Friends? Uh, no. The bell announces lunchtime, and the rest of the students collectively rise and start shuffling out of the door. Lunch hour. It's been a blast talking to you guys. 
I swiftly snatch up the backpack by my leg, flashing an earnest, sympathetic smile at them. Or at least I thought it was one. Sim uh, an earnest, sympathetic... Is that communication when you smile at someone? If you plan a fucking sympathetic smile? Bless your heart. Am I right? Oh, darling. I... How this person who wrote this is describing their, or describing these interactions, it's almost like I should just, it, it just gotta talk to people instead of fucking, you know, trying to interpret shit all the time. Cause like, this, this is fucking ridiculous. But is this how fucking life is now? This, there's never a time I'm going to listen to those fucking idiots. I understand exactly why they're fucking idiots. And they need to listen to me to get better now. You know? You want to be problem, 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 problem. I have solution. So shut the fuck up and listen. You know? Yes. Can you do that? Are you fucking capable? I'm not proving shit to you because you've already proven to me that you're fucking too stupid to see both sides. I've seen your side, and I understand you fucking hurt. But I also understand your hurt. <sighs> Tired of that shit. Everybody thinks they know everything. Everybody wants to be a fucking guru. Guess what? <laughs> right now, there's only one. Keeps getting glued <laughs> to the chair. Oh, yeah. As I power walk out of the classroom, I swear I caught a glimpse of Reed waving goodbye. <clears throat> a shame I have other places to be. Namely, away from the pissed off midget. Is there maybe a theme of the separation between bros? The separation not only that the bros have because there's a lady in the way bro on the other side has orange dinosaur bro on this side has a purple dinosaur yeah uh, <clears throat> but he also separates himself from them as well nobody is the dinosaur nobody's sticking up for themselves and not it, it and they're not sticking up for themselves in a way that will defeat the problem. Because that's the only thing that matters, right? It's not about talking shit. It's not about whatever fixes the problem. The solution. It just so happens that... It's not dropping end bombs like Negroshima. <laughs> I want to use that all the time now. I'm going to wear it out. Please do. Um. Sorry, man. You seem like a good guy. But with that tiny tyrant? Not in this lifetime. It's always the female problem. It's the female question. not the Jewish question. It was the female question. Maybe. That was the worst fucking experience in a long while. Almost as bad as actually dealing with Ugh. Fang in class. That's such a... I guess it's hard. Right? Because I'm thinking about, like, us. And I, I push, like, everybody in your life away, basically. But that's kind of what happens when there's a new... Fo when there's a female force. In the... It's just something we... We have a force on the inside. Well, you have a force on the outside. Met. Met. Uh, whether you like it or not. Whether we like it or not. It's like that. <clears throat> and we are... Different than everybody else. Uh, I think. There's always stuff getting stuck in my belly button. <laughs> the tiny little hands back there. Grab them for stuff. <laughs> now 
Now I'm getting distracted with my belly button. Uh, I'm gonna have to use like a Q-tip or something in there. I've never had fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All I needed was a little blah, 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 in the shower, and now it's like that just kind of gunks it together. <laughs> I gotta reevaluate my life. Um, we're different because there was like there was things that were negatively affecting our relationship, and that probably happens in other places. Any outside force that isn't building the inside force is gonna destroy it, or at least make it worse, you know, if you're not adding, you're subtracting. Yeah. When life is constantly in motion. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, you know, if the two aren't good, they'll just fucking fuck up each other. So what's what's the priority with these female relationships versus bros just getting to fucking do stuff together? It's difficult when people mainly, mainly because I think it's time for man and woman to have a deeper conversation and work towards, you know, eternal life. Fucking doing 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 that good energy stuff. You're not gonna do good energy stuff if you're getting married to have fucking divorces or whatever. Yeah. Oh, Men always having to watch their backs. Women always having to watch what they say or whatever the case may be. And then the invasions of that relationship, like the government. You know, they, they fucking they're like, uh, they're like the fuck of the old ages. Something under the king. Oh, fornication under the consent king. Yeah, they make laws about how you can have sex and then they give you the okay that you're married now. It's like a, it's a completely fucked up system. Getting to know each other with your vulnerabilities it ain't happening in this fucking school. Probably doesn't happen in any school. But it's for the adults to fucking do first. We're not fucking children, high school children anymore. We're fucking adults. I think the person who wrote this probably is an adult. Maybe not as old as us, but... <sighs> yeah. Well, all these kids, they want to think that they know best. They're confused until they find something that promises them some relief and comfort and they defend it to fucking the ends of the earth. That's, like, so stupid. Booty by saved my life! Nope. Next one, lover. Here was thinking I could be invisible for the rest of the year. Why? have Is this your first year in school ever? Like, this wishful fucking hopeful thinking for something that's, like, impossible, you know? And now I have classmates talking about me behind my back on their phones, probably for the rest of the school year. Yeah, that's what happens. At least it's the best period of the day now. It's also, listen to this, talking behind my back, right? You don't want people talking about you when you're not there? What does that kind of sound like? Fucking pronoun bullshit? Pronouns are only used when that person is not there. If someone is there, I will address that person. You know? Uh, even if they're there, she's the number one uh, introducing. It's like... Ridiculous. But the... People are, why not, I, it was terrible to have people know I exist, I think, in school. There was a point where I tried to, like, work with it, and I guess I've always tried to work with it, but my bottom line is I don't want anybody around ever. 
I don't want nobody to know me. But as soon as somebody sees me, they look at me, they know me. So it's like, how do you fucking navigate that shit? Being less concerned about human and more concerned about self and outside world and the meaning of life. <laughs> they just taught philosophy in school. Then we wouldn't have banks. I bet you they teach philosophy in school, we wouldn't have fucking banks. You think they got philosophy in Israeli University? Bet you. I bet you they have a very select representation of fucking philosophy, too. Religion, first and foremost. Yeah. At least it's the best period of the day now. The bloodiest one. Wonder what to get for lunch today. Wait. What's that smell? Splurging on fancy ass books. But you need a fucking government program, right? Oh, no. I duck into a corner and rip the backpack open. I should have what should have been my lunch card binders. Uh, and horrendously embarrassing art book. Was instead a dozen gas flask, ba bags full of something, and all sorts of machinery I didn't recognize. Meth lab in a backpack? Someone, someone else has my backpack and that book. Well, so you, it's, so now you have to figure out why you like something when somebody asks you. Is that that bad? Well, that thing is kind of like a embarrassing thing, so I just want to... That's life. Addressing it seems a little healthier. That's just what it's going to have to be, then don't do that thing. You're making your life miserable while you bitching. Why does life have to be so hard? Not a dot. This backpack, it's from that Reed guy, I'll bet, when I rushed out of class, fuck me. He couldn't tell that his backpack was jingle jangling with glass and fucking <laughs> copper and shit or whatever. Time to make some crack! On the other hand, I could get a medal of honor for turning all this stuff in. Really? Is that really the route you want to go? You think anybody's gonna fucking care about you? Probably not. Not the person writing this, maybe the character. You can even get a bit of cash for reporting stuff like this. What am I thinking? Well, and then whoever has his fucking backpack, and then we'll search your backpack and see all your fucking porno. Then take your lunch card away, because this is like a hundred dollar book. Worthless fucking child. Where are your parents? Oh yeah, they abandoned you in an apartment somewhere. Yeah. Any amount of money is not worth my power level being revealed. I can't ruin my life. Not again. Especially not with these losers. What? <laughs> A half hour until lunch period ends. Good. I need to find Reed. I double back to the classroom I just left and find it empty. Oh no! Fuck. Maybe he's getting a lunch now. Cafeteria then. I sprint through the hallways, already familiar with the layout, looking for the drug dealer. The colorful crowd in the lunch line makes it difficult to pick Reed out. So I have to carefully scan the room. Give it a whole ocular pat down. I finally spot the pink raptor at the end of the queue. Tray in hand and incriminating evidence on his back. I don't see a backpack. Uh, the word must be fucking. The world must be fucking with me since I'm the one. 
currently in a mini cartel in a backpack. Uh, I'm, I'm currently carrying a mini cartel in a backpack. Why is the world fucking with them? Oh, cause incrimination for incrimination? Fucking with you or trying to show you a, a tooth thing? A tooth yeah. thing is really a whole thing, right? Yeah. Read. The stoner drummer turns my way. It's more than a stoner. <laughs> Meth dealer. Who knows? With fl uh, flasks and fucking equipment? He's either distilling fucking <laughs> alcohol or... The stoner drummer turns my way as I try to calmly as possible... As I try calmly as possible to approach him. What up, my guy? I, uh... I give the backpack a bump, causing all the dubious glassware within it to clink. I think you got my backpack, Reed. Huh. I was wondering why this felt lighter. Holds out my backpack to me. Here you go, man. We trade backpacks, and I'm careful to hand over his while simultaneously examining mine, still within his grip. It doesn't look like he opened it at all, but... Thank fuck. Why are you so worried about the bag? Man. Chip fuck 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 fuck. Because don't bring up the art book. Is he gonna have that much hard time bringing up the fucking book? I think you dumb fuck. There's gotta be something you could say. I didn't want my backpack to be lost. Naomi, I owe you a fruit basket. A lunch card. I wouldn't be able to get my lunch without it. Oh, oh, fuck, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Why you gotta be sorry? Be thankful that... What? New kid at school and you need a lunch card? Uh <laughs> Do you want to, like, hang with us? You look like the lonely type. Fuck! No. Nah. I'll be good. I just needed my... Come on, bro! Oh, did you see the... I just needed oh, my... Oh, it automatically does it sometimes on those. Uh, come on, bro. I'll introduce you to the whole band. Well, we saw the purple one with him. And also... They were talking about how their friend... Just yeah. Snap a picture of him. Uh, you know, reward your good deed with a good deed. What good deed? Apologizing? What? For history or something? <laughs> Sorry, my people fucking ate you into extinction. I'll be like your first friend, Anna. What? Yeah, man. I appreciate it, but... You know. You worry about Trish too, bro? There's no two. Are you worried about Trish, bro? Yeah. She could be a bit rough. But she's great. Isn't she on a crusade to assault everyone who laughed at your concert? Oh yeah, she does that sometimes. Don't worry about it. Huh. So he doesn't care that they failed miserably? Like he's not upset like the other, like the chicks are? Doesn't seem to be. It's fine for you to be worried. You'll see. She's pretty nice. She's plenty nice. 
Maybe I was a bit quick to judge. But also, he doesn't want to know anybody, so that automatically takes people down notches. You're already looking in a different direction. So... He's still gonna be quick to judge. Let's just ride in the fucking wave. Was not stepping on anybody's toes or... Whatever the saying yeah. goes. Yeah. See? There's Trish now. Sorry, gonna have to return that crowbar a bit later than promised. You're so edgy. Also, I got vengeance on another one of those jerks. Those aren't related, right? Who's asking? I need to get out of here. Well, Reed, thank you for talking. I'll just be on my way. Hold it, man. Hold on, man. Trish just got here. Reed! What's all this? A boot? <laughs> a boot! Anne in here and I had a little mix up. Shut up, bitch. None of your business. <laughs> Anyways, he was a total bro about it. And he's like super poor and stuff. Oh, let's take him in like a tiny ethnic kid. How, how, poor. how poor? You know, that lunch card thing they advertise on the school brochures. Bull. Oh. So. Bull. Show her, Anon. Just show. Please give me proof of your your poorness. Uh, he's got put on the spot again. What he didn't want. I'd rather not. Oh my goodness, you poor soul. Literally even. So I figured, why not be a bro back to him? By telling you that he's poor so he could gain your sympathy? Ugh. Like, uh... Be his legit welcoming committee. I... I appreciate the thought, but, uh... The dog's in, right? <laughs> I hope so. Always gotta think about that when you fucking hear... Cowbell beeping. So far, it's good in the name. I just wanted one bite. I appreciate the thought, but, uh... I should really be going right about now. Bye. Oh, Fang. What took you so long today? Why me? Yo, wait. Is that Anon? What's he doing here? No, it's the other new human transfer student with the dress sense of Rex Luthor. Whoops. Hey, Fang. Good to see you again. Well, lunch is almost over, so... He's poor. Like... Super poor. How poor? You know those lunch cards they have on posters near the principal's office? 
Wow, that is hilariously depressing. You know what else is? That you don't know that you're just a woman and you just deal with it. <sighs> Me too. I hate everyone here. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay to insult people to make myself feel better. That doesn't answer my question of why the skinny loser is here. Man, Anna's like a total bro, and I'm his first friend, and we're going to be rock ring buddies for the rest of the school year. <sighs> then, like, he'll be my business partner. And we'll sell enough goods to get half the country high, like, fuck narcs and fuck the IRS, too. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Trish? The morons swapped backpacks, and now they're best friends or something. Yeah, that. And now, now I'm gonna grab my lunch, so... We can all grab some together. Well, Reed is a good judge of character. Is he? Didn't you already grab your lunch, Reed? Yeah. I want seconds, man. What? I look at Reed's tray and see it's completely empty. When did you... How? Come on, man. I mean... I get a mean case of the munchies. Whoa, <laughs> stoner bro. I end up walking to get with... To get food with Trish, Reed, and Fang. Every time I consider ditching them, Reed says or does something to keep me with the band. Old well, stand up for yourself, so nope, I'm gonna go. What are you gonna say you got raped next? Ugh. Fuck my life. I think you wanna be there. I am able to hold the makings of a conversation with Reed. But it feels like I'm talking to space. Trish was listening in while we made our way to the lunchroom, but was more focused on her talk with Bang. What do you mean my halter top is out right now? I haven't noticed a difference. Uh... So talk, everybody talk shit. Talk shit, talk shit. You friends, it's like, what's the difference? I'm telling you, the next thing is going to be Leo retards. No, fuck that! I would never wear something that retarded. <laughs> she said the thing. Isn't she kind of wearing leotards right now? Retards. <laughs> <laughs> As for Reed. So, you play video games, right? Yeah, I got a couple consoles and a toaster of a PC. Only x rocks Battle SARS is sick. Pac <sighs> Packy Station has a better lineup overall. Who like Stony Games are all playing. Like, just movies lame. You can't prove that. I can. Eh. Get your phone out, man. Look up LW underscore S9 ZN PK LL. How did you say that out loud? Just look it up, man. What's the harm? Could be a virus? Uh, yeah. Well, what else are we gonna do, right? Oh, I guess I should save. 
This is the decisive fucking, am yeah. I going to be a school shooter? After being bullied and answered several stupid questions. <laughs> this white person mowed down with several teenage dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, shit. You didn't tell me you were going to do a real thing? Net sticks? Well, it was just YouTube. But still, it didn't tell you to be fucking opening no. Will you go back to the website so we can look at the information or whatever? Go down? Through How old is this game? A cinematic adventure. So it's a real game. PS5, PC. It looks like the same fucking characters. It says it has no association with this thing. Like at the beginning of the. Uh... There's like, there was some disclaimer. Where? When we first started playing the game. So it doesn't. This isn't a game that is real? It has no association to what? PlayStation or, or this like, game? Like, the, like, I think it's something about how the, the characters in the game, uh -huh. um, while they are based on those things, they don't have any association. Like, we're not the same company. This is, like, giving... They're giving them credit. I mean, I mean, this is a work based off of these characters or something. Yeah. Maybe we can find it again. Uh, but can you play it real quick? Yeah. Just like press, go forward, like to the middle. You ever feel like maybe it's just nerves? Maybe it's the fear that. I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. That is fucking. Can I see that? Yeah. Might as well jump. Should I, uh... uh the comments are turned off. Come on now. I'm not gonna know what is going on then, because <laughs> I wonder if it's about the same like gayness shit, and like we suck at rock bands or whatever. Uh. Yeah. So what did that prove to what he's saying? It's funny in a way, yeah. X Rocks is better anyways. You'll see the whole lineup they have prepared for. Reed delves into his rants about console differences. Well, what does it matter? <laughs> I thought he was just an airhead, but... What was that proof then? He's like, oh, look up this link. Yeah. Well, it didn't matter because they moved on. I totally can't get a read on this guy. Read. But he's a flat earther. He doesn't care. Well, anyways. The lunch lines are going to not get shorter yet. We go pick one. Once we all get our food, we all stand around chatting a bit more outside the line. Trish and Fang babble to each other about their daily activities, although, uh, all through the lunch line. Reed, on the other hand, had pulled out his tablet from his backpack to show me what? something. 
let the fucking truck pass. You just uh, had that reason. <laughs> Reed, on the other hand, has pulled out a tablet from his backpack to show me something. So, like, you know, we got a band, yeah? Uh, yeah, Trish brought it up earlier and all. Check it. I've been recording our practices. Fang and Trish both look at me expectantly. Expectorantly. Fuck shit, fuck. Okay, you can do this. Just lie? Cool. Let me see. Even through the poor recording quality, I can see and hear just how atrocious the band is. I bite back the grimace threatening to come out as I give the video my full attention. That's why people go to like American Idol and shit because somebody told them that they were good but they weren't. We're great, right and on. It's uh, certainly original. I know, right? But like, why two bases? Music that plays when they're playing their music is always has a guitar. It's not just bass music. Bang glances at me from the side. Weird. It's our style. I see. What do I say here? I can only give feedback on games I haven't played, not music. <laughs> oh. Time to save. Oh, this is a three for wife. Finally. You can go, who knows what the fucking place it's gonna take us to. Where is, there we go, page two. Alright. How do I get yeah, there we go? Uh, I've got a fucking I hate making choices that I don't wanna make. I wanna be like you fucking suck, eat my shit. Like this was just made for a person that totally gets fucking enough. I don't control fucking Anon at all. He doesn't go through any sort of fucking journey, it seems like. Nope. That kind of sucks. Okay, and I don't know what these fucking things mean. So, oops, why can't I have an option? I got such a many. Ugh. His belly's fucking never... Might as well get used to it. Ugh. Came and keep my legs together like a good lady. I'm looking like a whore. Hey, fella, you got two dollars? I need a smoke. I don't know what to do. Huh. I like. I guess double... this is the only. Because I don't know what double tension. Yeah, let's go with that one. The three stop in their tracks and look back at me. I think I messed up. No, you didn't. How could you tell? Jeez, man, you got the ears of a bat. Uh, just something I picked up. I didn't know you knew about that sort of thing, Amen. Yo, next time we have a concert, God come along. So, did she... Is it... Who... 
thinks what? <laughs> He's like, you gotta come. But I did I just insult it because like you don't get our music. No, they're like, oh, they're like, you heard it. You you like we did that on purpose. As I said, I thought I. I think I said the wrong, wrong thing. thing. And then he's like, how could you tell? You've got the ears of a bat? Oh, well, like a that wasn't... A, a, I think I messed up. And I thought she was like, how can you tell? But not. It wasn't that. Because he said that in his head. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe. Trish... Glowers at me warmly. Warily? Warily. 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 Wariolis. Oh. Areola Wariolis. I don't know, maybe if he actually talked about himself for once. <laughs> nope. Nuh uh. No way. Abort. Yeah, man, go ahead. None of us are judging. I'm not, at least. Go well, ahead. you should probably speak for yourself. Do you know that you have two of the judgiest fucking cunts this side of Volcano High? That's your time to be the biggest shit poster. You could be like, hey. Oh. Well, it's gotta be all. It's, it's gotta be us at the same time, because Reed is there, too. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Sorry, Sorry Anon. Anon. We, we got, got a bail. <laughs> that that will will clip that, and that'll be at the end of every single one of these things. We'll have a little button. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> huh? Where? They're already gone. Pretty impressive how fast they can move, even with their hands full. Wow, they're such bros. But what could have made them run like that? A fire? Heroin withdrawal? Anan? Oh. I turn around to see Nezer and Naomi approaching, food in hand. I knew I'd find you here with the others. Oh. Sorry. Acting like an idiot. I knew I'd find you here with the others, Anan. Shame they ran off! Why did they do that? Her shrill goody goody sugary voice is piercing through the chatter of the lunchroom. I don't want to reply if it means hearing more of her voice. Jesus! Wasn't that Nazer's sister? How wonderful that you're making friends, Enon. Tell me everything. What were you and Fan talking about? I want to know all about it! <laughs> oh, help me God. I just can't catch a break. A break from what? What? Fu it's like he wants a break all the time. His whole life he wants that break. Right? Yeah. So, listen, you got your nice fucking little book. Shut the fuck up and go in the corner and read it. Take your dick out and touch it. Wait, let me get my camera first. <laughs> I just want to go home. Meet you there. But there's still ooh, half the day to go. Hey, Anna, you uh, seem kind of low energy. Are you all right? The Anna you are trying to reach is currently having an existential meltdown. What is his center? Just whatever black hole, just get through every, just keep going through the day. Don't look at anything. Every time somebody even looks at me, all hell fucking has frozen over. What kind of fucking life is that? If that's all the time that there's maybe 
an exterior pro problem. You know? An exterior and interior problem at the same time. My body's doing weird things. I felt like a pinch in my nipple. I felt like something here. But isn't that where my intestines are or some shit just bunched up at the top? It yeah. felt kind of like I can't make it small enough. Pretend my hand was really tiny. That's a kind of, it was like a slow, huh? Ugh. But there wouldn't be baby up there. I'm getting bigger though, ain't I? Yeah. I've been pregnant for so fucking long. Did my body just need it? Am I a different evo- I can't dismiss the fact that maybe evolution is happening. Maybe evolution is happening to plenty of chicks, but they're like, I gotta go get an abortion or a C-section or whatever. If I don't feel bad, I shouldn't have to go to the doctor, right? If something wrong was happening, I mean, aside from the fact that you're pushing Dookie around right now on me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll just, hopefully it'll just be a fart. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Wish me luck. God speak. <sighs> it was just a fart. God dinosaur speak. <laughs> Oof. Good luck to you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Imagine if the, f like, a prominent figure, because that's the only way you can enact your fucking power uh where they're uh, you have to address me by this pronoun and they would fart you know like the artist formerly known as uh-huh now he's just a symbol or something now he's dead call him whatever the fuck i want at any time anyway what is his name jersey mike <sighs> I forgot what was so, so can't can't rule out that fact if I don't feel bad. Right? Right. And if it's a ripening, maybe maybe it is still ripening. And if I'm not ripe If I'm not ripe then I shouldn't be plucked, even if it takes me a while longer. Hope we don't have retarded babies. I'm, I'll probably... I don't know, I might kill myself. <laughs> you know? Yeah, baby. I'll be fine, because where, where there is retardation, there's physical problems, too. There's always physical problems, unless they just give those people... Hold on one second. Too much simulation. Unless they just give those people too many drugs, and that causes the health problems... Uh, like having to work out every day, having a big ass like weight, like a Dragon Ball Z weight on my belly all the time. Look at me, my legs are stronger. Not really though. I'm. I need to drink more milk. That's all. Hmm. I'm barely even like tired. Uh, like pregnant people. Maybe that just means that I have an empty sack. That's always. A scare of mine that I had a uh, possibly another phantom pregnancy <sighs> this one went to the fucking extreme though you know I can't yeah. make this shit up I can't make my belly sound fucking weird no. I can't make my belly look like this this is where my fat is and this is my one pack, I guess. My big one pack of egg. It's like buying an ostrich egg. Should have an ostrich. Imagine having fucking. Oh, I wonder if they have the same vitamins as chickens. We'd have well, to I, feed I... like. We'd have to get like a 12 person family to eat one egg. We'd have to compost fucking three quarters of it. So big. <laughs> Sometimes I'm out of breath when I stay still. 
should probably don't lay eggs as often. That's the chicken, though. Oh, you can't but crack what? one open and freeze the rest. That would be gross. You gotta have, like, a bakery. Mmm. <laughs> it would be a measurement. It's like, give me one ostrich egg worth of pastry. Uh, whatever fucking pastry has egg. Spaghetti? Spaghetti yeah, has egg. Yeah, don't do things by dozen. You do by thing. half an egg, full egg. Yeah. Worth of pastry. Wii U. Alright, let's go. And, uh... Existential meltdown. Guy <laughs> gonna fucking kill. I'm gonna shoot this school up so hard. Please leave <sighs> your message after the scream. Why doesn't he just say that shit out loud? Kind of like that guy from Mad TV. What um, what's his name? The one with the happy Mickey, where he was like correcting people's grammar oh, and yeah. shit. Yeah. He just please leave your message. I'm just <laughs> you know, <laughs> nervous laughter. Oh, he's just thrilled to make new friends. Yeah, man. Good on you. You're quite. The extrovert. That's what happens when you fucking give out medals to everybody for everything. End up somebody like him. Like, you're the best talker in the world. Oh! <laughs> I'm mentally screaming. I swear I just want to get out and never come back. Was that really my sibling you were hanging with? Bang and her friends. Yeah. Strange group. I know. I'll say... Shh. They're not that bad once you get to know them. Colorful folk. I know. Shit. <laughs> Wait, what was the last I know? Strange group. Colorful group. Everybody's just talking does the person who wrote this knows they're just completely skirting around shit all the time with every word that's being said there is a there's a direct issue that this person x is trying to get to y or something you know yeah or if somebody is trying to get from a to b and all of these th this is how you walk around the circumference of it you know and you never get to be, but you go on, you through time, in circles, doing nothing, saying nothing. Just diving deeper into fucking insanity, I guess. <sighs> oh no, I mean they! I said your line. Uh, <laughs> hmm? Fang. Uh, oh, uh, huh. Sure, hope so. Seems I'm going to be her lab partner for the rest of the year. Whoa. They didn't say that. It was going to be for the rest of the year. Naomi pauses for a second. Honestly, they're just going through a phase, man. That phase includes rants about non-binaryism. Ah, <sighs> Fang hit you with that too? What a great opportunity for real friendship. Aenon, I'm so happy for you. Huh? Dot dot question? Also question? If there's anything Fang needs in these trying times, it's a new friend to talk to. Uh, I don't know about that. You know how they is, right? Oh, cringe? Really? You're not gonna fucking red alert yourself for that? I would love it if you tried. Nasser would appreciate it. Would he? Whoa. Calm down, boo. Looks like he's got like a rocket behind him. Look at those fucking weird wings. Yeah. Go all the way down. 
It does look like he has... The little orange is like where the fire comes out. Yeah. <laughs> He's a flaming retard. <laughs> That's not how it works. And I don't think... The, the bell's loud sound rings on our ears. A rush of relief and dopamine overcome me. I'm free. Are you back into the hands of corporate fucking America and you're free? Uh, we'll talk later, and I have to keep my eye on you, though. You know where you're most free? The places that you can influence, and these people are begging someone to fucking influence them. They're asking his opinion and fucking being all confused and wondering about this, that, and the other thing. Hello, sweet boy. Zoop. Oh, oh, the sweet craven boy. God, how do you give such good fucking? I can't get that reaction out of him. Maybe it's because you have thicker hands. Not by much. <laughs> <laughs> Your bone structure's bigger, so. Not by mold! Because <laughs> we were poisoned as children and not given fucking vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up on ding dogs. Uh. Uh, uh, we'll talk later, Aiden. I'll have to keep my eye on you, though. Don't worry, Nazer. I know Anon is of good character. What is she talking about? Well, I am a terrible shit. character. <laughs> you know that. You know what? It don't matter. None of this matters. Oh, sweet boy. Are you gonna come up? up. Oh, thank you. One useful thing I learned all day. Only. only useful thing I learned What's the only? Should I go back? No, none of this matters. Apparently that's what. <laughs> you know what? This don't matter. None of this matters. The only thing, the only useful thing I learned all day. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll have to go now. See you around. Be a little nicer, Annan. Maybe not be nicer. Open yourself up to have a real interaction with people. Don't look forward for it to end. You know? You have to force yourself to switch the mindset and have reason for doing it and stick to that reason. I want to live, even if it's about you, I want to live a better life, and that might take understanding people. Understanding people, you can't just shoot them in the head, because what do you know about them? That they're dead. That their blood is red, too. Oh, your cheeks. I wish you had all the skin like you do on your underbelly. Like his cheeks are waiting to grow in, too. <laughs> Such a relaxing. Ooh. Ask if you need anything. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. He's always so limp on me. Like no other kitty has been limp. And when he's not limp, it's like real fucking obvious when he gets like tense because there's like a fly or something. Yeah. Scares the shit out of me. His claws just ching from one fucking extreme to the next. But you're good to me, right, little boy? Sometimes. Sometimes you need a fucking karate chop. And when you eat our fucking wires, I'll give you a karate chop right here. Oh, you can't take it. It's Ooh. too powerful. 
Ooh, you want me to karate chop you right there? Oh, jeez. He's got some extra skin here. You're gonna be a big boy. The biggest boy. The gentlest boy. He reminds me of that guy from uh, My Love Story. Because he's got such thick arms. Oh, yeah? Yeah, such a thick tail. Oh, gee, sweet boy, you're so handsome. Oh, I feel like this. Oh, I'll hold you on that one. Just you wait. Ha 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 Nice. Now you'll never get them off your back. Congratulations. What happened to being nicer? Hey, take it easy, man. I feel like this is what goes through, like, every kid's head on, like, Twitter. Like, you can see that their brains are like this in the reasoning for the things that they post and say in return. <sighs> the 4chaners as well, I guess, but they're not really that different. <sighs> it's just the environment that's different. Come on, Nazer. We have a busy day today. Oh, sure. Sure. See ya. Wouldn't want to fucking be ya. Bunch of dots. Several dots. <laughs> a few. One week later. So this is like a week and a half now? It's math. It's math. Bane of retards and lazy intellectuals alike. <gasps> and teachers too, judging by the lack of certain of a certain Coomer teacher. Yeah, and not for nothing, if you're one of those people who don't like wanna know it, right? What do you mean, fucking ugh? Are we supposed to assume that he likes math? I guess he hasn't shown signs that he doesn't, except for that he left his math book for his porno book. Oh no! Was I bugging you too much, boy? <sighs> That's fine. Probably wants to lay instead of- he doesn't really get that anymore, because he doesn't fit. Coomer teacher. Substitute today, which means busy work. Group problems, busy work specifically. He's never shown an interest in the school either, though. He's just like, gotta do it. Yeah. You know? Of course, I can't escape this any more than I could have escaped the lab partner assignment. Gee, golly. I'm gonna need one of those burgers in a minute. Oh, yeah? Yeah. At least here, I had the opportunity to just keep to myself for an hour. I don't even bother attempting the assignment. Instead of pretending my phone is a calculator and spending the first half shit posting about video games I haven't played online. So it seems he doesn't like math. Hmm. So what does he know about fucking lazy intellectuals and fucking... Whatever he said, retards? Yeah. So where do you fall on that list of two things? <laughs> Could I have that ham boy guy if you don't mind? Did I just eat? Oh no, I, I just had some a bite of your macaroni. The second half interrupted by something pointy to the back of the dome. Not the dome. I'll be right back. Yeah, there's more than I'll talk Okay, I guess I'll just wait to take this bite because I have to read. I can feel something stuck between my chair. <laughs> I'll I was already it. fucking doing. I was stuff. already doing that when you could have waited for the next one. Damn. Go ahead. 
I can feel something stuck between my chair and my back. It's calm! I fish around and pull out a crumpled paper airplane. A complete set of problems. This is Reed's, and it's done? Is he flirting? Even the extra problems they don't even bother with because they take another 10 minutes each. I turn around see that Technicolor burnout waving me over. He's sitting next to Trish. <laughs> She's giving me the evil eye. At least I think it's the evil eye. Whatever that expression is, it clashes with her smile. Might as well see what they want. As I weave through the maze of desks, squished together with partners more interested in their phones than the worksheet. Just I, like you? Right? I catch a hint of whatever Reed and Trish are talking about. It sounds like he's talking down about these people, you know? Yeah. Like, he ain't one of them, but also he exactly is. Oh, he's licking those big paws. Honesty is the best policy, eh? Bad juju to keep something bottled up. Reed grabs hold of another chair and sets it on Trish's other side, nodding in my direction before taking a big pull from whatever he's got in that thermos on his desk. The whitening of his pupil suggests it's more than just Roarbuck's cold brew in it. Did you want to get that macaroni now? Sure. Hey, Anon. Hi! 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 Do you need something? No, just wanted to chat a bit since we got the time. ha 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 ha! There's something in her tone of voice. Menacing. It's like she's ready to gore me with those nubs she calls horns. Did you ever hear her call them horns? Sure. I'ma let you two get to whatever. Gonna go for a refill. He shakes his thermos and heads for the door. What's in it anyway? Don't ask. This motherfucker's reading his mind. Fair enough. Wait. Fuck it. So, Anon, you and Fang? You and Fang what? They've been... Ugh, she's been talking to you. It's only one person! It's only one person! Oh, they? <laughs> it's like, yeah, who are you talking about? Oh, you're trying to change fucking the language that I've known for so many years? For no reason, just for confusion? How about you take lying out of your fucking language first, you bunch of idiots? Try to tell me how to live my fucking life. Oh. The tiny Triceratops rolled her eyes dramatically. Fine! Fine, we talk about you! All good things, I'm sure. Fangs were talking about me? That's dumb! Oh yeah, the fuck. We've all been doing is... All we've been doing is more lab work and science. Last Thursday, I tried to remember how to make a railgun. To show I could, of course. I can make one too. You seemed unimpressed at the time, but... Was it about making a railgun? 
Er, yeah, it was. What exactly are you talking about? With uh, it, uh, uh, what exactly are you talking about with her? Just science stuff. The railgun is just something I happen to know, though. I picked it up from an old game. Trish raises an eyebrow. It's like the fucking thought police. Right. Why do you ask? You learned to make a deadly weapon from a video game. Drops her face because she's fat, stupid. Her tone is flat, unlike her chest. Oh! I wouldn't say deadly. You already asked a question. What do you mean, don't interrupt, fucking bitch? Why would you think that it's a good idea to make a weapon in class? Why did what's her face say that she could do it too? Hmm. Um, cause nobody asked me to speak into the fucking microphone. How did you not get in trouble? Spears actually did talk to me. He said something about the great equalizer. But not that was during the concert, after the concert, wasn't it? When he was like great equalizer. Hmm. I had nothing to do with the railgun shit. Yeah. That's very weird. Did he go to the principal because he was talking about a railgun? That wouldn't have been something that he talked about. Like, oh, I can't believe this happened to me. Trish grabs the bridge of her snout. I grab her nipple. This is why men are useless. We can also talk about why women are useless. Neither of them have to be, though. Yeah, 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 she yeah. She con <clears throat> continues to mutter to herself. All of it incoherent. To you, maybe. Is there a point? Hey, sweet boy. You want a piece of hamburger? She rounds back <clears throat> on me, anger painted clearly on her face. I dropped... Hamburger, could you find it, sweet boy? And then eat it? It was for you, but I made a mistake. Hmm. Look, Anon, you may be into that stuff, but leave Fang out of it. This is, like, ridiculous. This fucking crazy bitch. And it's like... <laughs> Annoying to even say her words. Oh, I, I don't know why she getting matter. Uh, don't talk. Don't talk about rail guns to fucking. That. Okay. Is this what happens? I mean, why would you write such an annoying character? I guess if unless it's not something that he or she experienced there was a it may be in your shoe I see okay mm -hmm. would you want this even yeah Now my fingers are all sticky. She has better things to do than to talk to a boy <clears throat> about girl things. Then play with some man child's lethal toys. Like a cult. Whoa, harsh. <clears throat> Reed slumps into the seat next to Trish, sipping on his thermos of... 
This Ogwa, bro. He Thermosome. can see that people are judging him? I bet you have something else in there. Thermos of water. What the? What'd I miss? Where else would he be going? Outside, maybe outside if they drive cars. So, put some booze in it or some shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell Aiden that he shouldn't be telling Fang how to make a fucking gun in school. Should I say it outside school? Why not? We've been over this. We yeah. have? When? The twist is she's gonna be the fucking school killer. <laughs> One of them. Less than five minutes ago. Oh, fuck. Back up, please. Thought we were talking about Aiden. I should be lying. Yes. And specifically, we were talking about Anan's gun! Head start to turn. Reed grins at them all. Then how about these guns? Reed places his hands on the back of his head and flexes his biceps. You could have made the characters do that. Trish's face is a blur of emotions. I feel like this is a CIA thing. That's my guess. Because I feel like... <clears throat> is it starting to glow, wife? Yeah! I feel like it's starting to glow. If this was a passion project, I don't know. At first, confused. Wait. Oh, she's aroused? Confused, then fucking pissed, then aroused, then back to fucking pissed. And all all in the space of an atto second. How the fuck do you know? You don't even know yourself, motherfucker. Get out of here. No, though, it's the one who made with magnets. <laughs> Sorry. Whoops! Making a gun with magnets. I knew that shit. But like, how do magnets work? <laughs> well, how do magnets work? Two forces that are attracted to each other. They say two opposing forces, right? But it's not really. These things, it's a strong force and a weak force so that there's movement around a center that they both want to share. With each other, I guess. And they move through time, they move through space. And they're not the same. And one has to be a little stronger than the other one so that the movement keeps going. The stronger one wants to become stronger. And the weaker one has to maintain itself or however that dance goes. That's why everything in the universe is magnets. Because at, you could get to like chemicals and shit. And they're all a whole bunch of tiny magnets that taste like things. We experience magnets in our food. We experience magnets in our body, in our mind. We experience magnets in, in everything. Everything is magnets. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> but 
But when you don't understand that, I think that's why people just go off in one direction. If everything's magnets, and we think, right? So there's an aspect of this whole magic magnet world that we have control of. Namely, our fucking minds. If we don't choose to be what we see on the outside to learn more about us, even as an experiment. Uh, I see this on the outside world. Let me try to do it on the inside. Namely, strong forces and weak forces. What is a strong force in an individual's mind? What is what is the weakest strong force in individual's mind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What they what they think and what the outside forces them to think. But more specifically, think of addiction. Think of people's first instinct. There's an immediate thought, an immediate desire, an immediate... It's the strong force. Oh. Because through time, things kind of stretch, you know? If you're thinking about something for a long time, it exists in more time than something you don't think about that much. Gotcha. Yeah. So say with, like, addiction... The sh to discover the weak force, you have to know the strong force. And that strong force exists kind of outside of your control because it's not just you do it. You have to do the steps to do it. You have to not smoke the crack. You have to not smoke the crack to not be a crackhead. You know? Yeah. You could say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But that's just the weak force filled with lies. And there's no movement there because it's just not reality. So you turn, I mean, there, I guess there is movement, movement into chaos and craziness. Not towards a solution. No. We can do strong force, weak force in our brains. If we don't, we're fucked. If you just give in to your anger so easily, that's you seeing that strong force and not wanting to take that strong force for your own. It's there by default, and you don't know the other side the challenge, the weak force that you are, you're that weak force. Everybody is the weak force in their brain. Because who else exists there? Doesn't matter the pressures of the outside. Right? Yeah, you're the only motherfucker in there. You can still think for yourself. I know because I do. Under all this fucking craziness of the world, I think for myself. So much so, I don't even like people's language. I want to speak my own fucking language. Just like Terry. He didn't know it. <laughs> Just like all the crazy people. They don't know. I don't want to speak your fucking language because you're stupid, but then they get stupid. It's no better. Do you... I think we should continue or try that other, the other one. I feel like I don't, I leave everything fucking empty and I feel like I gotta, cause it lets us talk about things, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know if this is like a, an FBI thing or not. <laughs> Oh, but how do magnets work? 
How do magnet work? How do they work? If anything, that's a good enough explanation for now. You want to know the science behind it, but you got to make up words to fucking say it, so you got to go to school to learn those words. And it's like... There's a way to communicate things in a kind of quick roundabout thing for the everyday layman. Because we observe, and the rest we can just say in long form without... An asteroid is when there is a big mass of something, and a meteor is the same exact thing except a little fucking smaller, whatever, you know? What's <sighs> made metal, what is made of ice? <sighs> anyway, that was a stupid thing. Is meteor asteroid. They shouldn't have done that, you know? It's just. A thing flowing through, it's, it's confusing. It's like, actually, it, it gives it space for that actually shit. Yeah. Above anything else, above any information. Am I gonna go look up which is bigger, a meteor or asteroid, every time they're like, the, the uh, space rock is coming real fucking close to us. <laughs> There's probably not a point where mixing the two up would, would cause a catastrophic situation. No, especially when they're talking about it on fucking anywhere, I guess. So maybe that thing is bullshit. Or maybe there just needs to be, like, a word that describes a thing. Because everybody does it. A word to describe a thing. And then more words to des to describe it more clear or more less uh, shallow. Yeah, it's like an iceberg. Word iceberg. Ooh. Why not... Why not have that? Ooh, do you think if I use my mind, I could think of a word iceberg? Oh, I bet you could. Uh... But ha... Mm. Oh, it's something even just like... Life. You know, like it's life as the simplest concept and then life in action and then the best action to define life the best for the top would be like the deepest of the darkest overstimulated you just if you want to just hold your hand there for a while that's okay sometimes it's like with sex the same way you know sometimes I just want you to like be in me and not do much so I could just like gather my bearings or whatever yeah. get my bearings straight bearings are something that straightens your shit out in a car right I mean you, yeah. you, you can straighten your bearings. Or you just get your bearings. Yeah. Let me um, juggle my balls. I'm trying to think of a different way to say that. Because I don't, I don't like that. I'm not close to that slang. So, what's a better... That's culture, right? Gross. <sighs> now my... just takes shit away. It's almost like having... You know, like in places like North Korea... Fucking... Islam there's like a thing that always they play so that everybody can fucking hear yeah people driving by with their shitty fucking music is like the same thing it's like always there was a book and also a movie with Sean Astin he played like Bilbo Baggins okay uh what's his name Frodo's friend uh, Samwise Samwise 
Okay. Where he was like a, a smart person, so they put a thing in his head. Every time he had a thought, they would buzz him, so the thought would go away. There was a chick that was really pretty, like I think his wife or something. So they took her, her ears away from her or something. They they try to. It's a world where if you're too privileged, you have that thing like the government makes you bad, makes that thing bad, equalizes you so that you can't have good thoughts. Thus, it's like 1984, but in a different, uh, yeah. All the kids are on like pills just to make every everybody has to be stupid and everybody has to be ugly and everybody has to be, you know? So when these fucking idiots drive by trying to drown out their own thoughts, because that's what people do with loud music, right? They just drown out even fucking motorcycle gays. They're doing, they drive, I just with the driver with the road, doing the fucking blah, blah, blah. Watch out for me, cause I'm special. <clears throat> They're drowning out my thoughts as well. They don't give a fuck about that. Oh, look twice, save a life. Come on, really? I don't give a shit if you live or die. Well, I would prefer, you would, I would be better off if you were dead. You make my life bad. You make everybody's fucking life bad, except your own. But you kind of make your own life bad because you're not doing the best thing for yourself. You're not doing the best thing for your family. Are you riding out, driving on the road, making fucking noise? Go do something with your kid, you idiot. Because I bet you he gives that fucking motorcycle more attention. Does this kid come on? I know men. They pretend not to know. But they do. Can't help it. You're men. Me, 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 right? How did this world get started? Who built all the fucking pyramids? Or wanted them fucking built? Yeah, those dudes. Definitely wasn't a fucking group effort, that's for sure. Oh, but there was this, you remember that one chick, Boudica, she was a Celtic person and she fought in wars? Yeah, what a coincidence that most of the time when a female is in power or a female has to fight, it's desperation. It's like, oh, there's nobody here to take this place? I gotta fucking take this place, you know? Yeah. What happened um, in England? with Henry VIII. He didn't have a fucking male heir, for one. Boudica, whatever her fucking name is, there yeah. were, uh, like, Roman or English, I forgot what pe time period, invasions. That one chick from fucking Yugoslavia that they talked with, her son got fucking killed in battle and she fucking burned everybody alive or whatever, you know, that's... There's a common, a common theme. Very rarely have there been, oh, the one time there was a Minoan fucking queen or whatever. Oh, what about Cleopatra? Oh, what about those fucking days? Are they anything like, was there any female rulers during like Fertile Crescent times? You know, Gilgamesh and... the time of, like, Old Fucking Testament, you know? The Assyrians, the Babylonians, were there any fu- No, fuck no. Egypt, no. <clears throat> There's a lot of speculation. Ruminations, like that one fucking book I had where she just made up stories about this fucking female queen because there's a picture of her somewhere. just a picture we don't know enough we just listen to the bullshit I could use some more milk okay I'll go grab more milk should we still have to be right back or 
I'll read. Okay. But like, how do magnets work, right? Let's not think about anything. Let's let the experts who bicker mm -hmm. over fucking dumb shit all the time. But you don't know because you ain't fucking looking, idiot. Ugh. Trust them. Ding dong, bing bong. They're introducing a new character. His name is Ding Dong Bing Bong. All at once, all the students, giving the clock a blank stare, stand to attention and file out the door. Ay ay ay! Damn it, Reed. Trish punches Reed in the shoulder, giving me another evil stare. Just waiting to fucking hit you, and saunters out of the room. Hey, Reed pats me on the shoulder, bruh. He gives me a thumbs up and exits as well, leaving only the substitute teacher looking at me from her desk impatiently for me to leave. Guess it's her lunch period. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. <sighs> Nacer ended up dragging me to sit with him and the magenta motor mouth again. Naomi hovers over Nacer, who currently has Gucci under. His eyes... Naomi hovers... over Nacer... who currently has Gucci... under his eyes... because she's got Gucci written on her t-shirt? So I, uh, talked to the soccer team earlier. They're gonna make the first game after all. Isn't that great, Anon? Dang it! Da da da. I also got the L and L Club to finally take down their Christmas decorations. <laughs> <laughs> so the library is clean again Nacer's head lands in his chicken salad then he jerks wide awake Nacer oh good lord not the water ugh sorry did you say something, Anon? Nacer, you look like you fell into another blender. What's going on, big guy? Don't worry about it. Just some family problems last night. Like what? Erg. You don't have to tell him if you don't want to, dear. Why don't you wipe that Alfredo sauce off your cute little face? <laughs> yes. The last of them. We ate them all already? Well, I mean, we might as well, because they're all sticky. She's so saccharine, she'd give a third world country diabetes. Uh -huh. It's my sister again. Why is it always his sister with him? Aw. Because that's the problem? That's a big problem? <laughs> I was going to sleep last night when I heard something downstairs. 
when did this turn into an interrogation? It was about one or two in the morning. I checked what it was, and Fang, Fang was just standing in front of the microwave, staring at the dino nuggets rotating inside. At one in the morning. At one in the morning. This is a personal issue, isn't it? Wouldn't you rather just be enjoying lunch with us? I just need advice from someone at this point, Naomi. But from Anan? Ooh, what you don't like blank face people? But from me? Nazer continues. I asked her what she was doing, and she just just says fuck off. So I think maybe Dad will help. When, since when did people get so involved when there's this angsty teenager shit that happens? There isn't... There's usually just pushing each other away. They're like, fine, fuck you, fuck you, and they go away. Yeah. So why is he so... Seems like an unlikely situation. He did... Oh, he didn't? They just got into a shouting match. Oh, trying to trust authority and getting fucking boned. Screaming about her lack of control. Dad was pissed. Eh. Why can't he talk to fucking... There's no way. I don't believe... There was an understood family dynamic. Because you live in that situation, you survive in that situation. I think siblings are closer than parents are. Because if one incurs the wrath, the other tends to. I mean, even if there's favoritism, yeah, you, you gotta be a shithead to see your sibling get beaten the shit out of. And you're like, yes... I love you, mommy. Yeah. I definitely fucking got my sibling fucking beat up when I wanted to, but that wasn't because I was, you know, on some side. <sighs> Just because sometimes I was a jackoff. <sighs> Poor baby. Naomi wraps her arms around Nacer's head, cradling the tired pterosaur in her bosom. They weren't talking about this before? Like, it was weird that she didn't want to bring it up and I was like, oh... There's a rumbling snore, and it's clear that Nazer has checked out. Immersion broken? That's impossible. Nobody falls asleep standing up like that. And what are you, in the gulags or something? That's death when that shit happens. <laughs> right. <clears throat> now, Omir looks distraught. He's always like this. You can have the last one. I have plenty of them. Why? Yeah. Alright. The Fallen Soldiers. Maybe I'll look the plate. I don't know. I did before. And then you put this stuff on it. I didn't like it that much. There's a couple pieces I like. Ah, it's our germs. But well, it's been getting worse recently. It's okay, I don't want to look like, I mean, I do, but I won't. <laughs> Going unconscious? Trying to help. Wearing himself ragged. 
They're in the school, same school. They have the same language. Hmm. Defang. Defang. We should. We should help Nacer. Why isn't she fucking asking questions before this motherfucker comes around? <laughs> what? By talking to Fang? I took yours. By taking him to the nurse's office. Um. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. Naomi looks, away. looks at me with the biggest, wettest doe eyes possible. Hey, sweet boy. Alright, alright. Doesn't look that heavy anyway. Only 160 pounds. I know, I check every single day. How many poops? How many poops? <laughs> How do you. Never mind. Naomi puts herself under Nacer's left arm, motioning me to take the other one. I sling his arm around my back, and good lord, he's heavy. Oh, I meant tons, because we're dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the nurse's office is down the main hall on the left side, near the front desk. I'm clenching my face too much to be able to speak. I can only get oh. a slight nod out. After dropping Nacer at the nurse and leaving before Naomi could argue with her about anything, the lunch bell rings. With the music at the ass end of the campus, I have to sprint through the halls. Fuck today. I avoided gym class for a reason. <sighs> Halfway to music class. I slam into somebody and double to the floor. I threw it on the ground. Ugh. Ooh, fatty too hotty. Oh. We got fucking Plumposaurus over here. Ooh, this is so mean. Look at that. That's basically Sailor Moon. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I get up from the floor and look at the Stego who bumped into me. I wonder if that, uh, <clears throat> that person who liked our thing or whatever is the person who made this. Oh, from he doesn't give a shit enough to watch, though. <laughs> He'll watch it later, being all embarrassed. The they just off. don't get me. I get you. We can talk about it, but we gotta <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> I get you. I don't like the things that you said. I, but I get you. Well, you know, it happens. There's an understanding to be had. It's not so much not liking, but understanding that people people don't know. They didn't have the advantage that I did of being able to learn. I'm the ultimate anarchist. They don't even know. They don't even know. I'm the missing piece of the fucking pyramid. <laughs> Uh, Twitch. Judgment. <laughs> Day is approaching. A chill rolls over me. Perhaps a English person because they spelt judgment with an E. They can't be a rebel like me. I do it because it makes the most sense. Did you say a chill rolls over me? Uh, yeah. Karma. No, no, maybe second chance. She draws closer, a contemplative expression on her face. Ah, uh, I see now. What? What? <laughs> You've important choices to come. Finally! I do? She is the one named Stega Moon. Oh, she is the one. Stego Moon? 
Wait, back up. What the fuck are you talking about? She's saying her inside voice is on the outside and they sound a little crazy. Yes. This. She reaches toward my chest, plucking something off of it. She holds it up for me to see. It's some oversized playing card. Still lost. It's you. It's your card. Oh, I'm an asshole. <clears throat> you are the precipice of a great ordeal. Many difficult points of divergence and contention are coming your way. Reflect on them. <laughs> does, it, does the dinosaur do the kissy face? Too? Yeah. I think about asking the green weirdo to make sense, but the bell is about to ring. Why don't you try to make fucking sense of it yourself, you man-tard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Sure. Sorry, got a dash. It's just because you hate everybody. Look at that fupa, though. I'll give her a kiss. Giving everybody kisses. Except you! Except babies! So there's a lot of people on my kids. Give me Kim Jong Il. He's I, too far away. He's <laughs> too far away. If he was here, though. <laughs> you know who else would be? Patton Oswald. I'll never fucking kiss that asshole. Oh. So fucking full of himself. He's like uh, Rosie O'Donnell if she converted to to trannyisms. You know. Yeah. Watch him playing her role as the retard on the bus. It's uh, not retarded. I have autism. <laughs> she ain't never seen a retarded person in her life. If that's what she fucking did. The, uh... No research for the role. No, it couldn't have been. Unless, uh, that, unless there was. And her interpretation of how they act is... She projects a sentience onto them that she herself doesn't even have. It's a script that does. The person who wrote that script probably wasn't retarded either. Maybe. There's two... Doesn't matter. What if... <clears throat> Speaking of Rosie O'Donnell, what do you get Perry to play the retard on the bus? Uh, Go in the other direction. I wonder, can you know how we were watching those clam tam, uh, uh, steam tam things? Yeah. Or I was, I guess. Um, What about if you can, like the YouTube poops, take things that Perry has said to do the lines... Uh, of Rosie O'Donnell like on the bus or fucking <laughs> oh man that would be an effort though that would be like something that we would have to sign up for Patreon for fuck that shit but I would want to see it myself too would it be worth it maybe maybe Patton Oswald too. Uh, I'd have to search for Patton Oswald stuff. You gotta spend time with him. I'd rather Perry than Patton Oswald. That's yeah. how bad. And that guy is fucking lost. There's there's a curiosity there. There's a hurt because the route is only like to complete mental shutdown. <clears throat> He's gonna have like a. When he's an old man, it's just not going to make any sense. I think the way it's going. Doesn't matter. It I'm was, sweaty. Uh, Ill. Uh, it was uh, kind of nice to see him when he was on uh, what we do in the shadows. They did off him at the very end. It pushed him off a building. I was like, well, at least. Yeah, but he got paid probably more than. Those piggies. Probably more than Guillermo. Hopefully. Well, I don't know. I hate that character. Ooh. 
I feel like Guillermo is just the the person who plays Guillermo, but calling himself a different thing and putting himself in a world of maybe yeah. he's just that good. But still, fuck that character. So full of yourself. No way are you that fat and you're doing moves like that, you know? So yeah. The the ego that I see coming from that fucking <sighs> makes more sense that that maybe they should have made him like a half like a retard vampire the whole time where he has these tiny little bat wings. So at least he has a reason for that Van Helsing blood. They kind of well, he's a human, so it doesn't really matter. They didn't say they get superhuman strength, do they? No, no, I don't think so. Mm. But I guess maybe we can assume. Yeah, because it, it climbs the buildings and shit. I think so there's some probably strength to that. And the character pro, I guess. Okay, maybe he's fine if we know that he's f- super full of himself, like unredeemable. It doesn't even uh, fuck the gayness, you know. There is no yes, queen, when you're a bad person. First and first, mostly. And he wants to be a fucking vampire, and he does all these fucking terrible things. It's like, me, 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 me. And then the family thing is confusing, and then the family here, and I don't know. Maybe I just don't like him. No. Uh I guess I don't like him because I'm thinking of the, uh, like, even the vampires. I'm like, yeah, well, fuck it, you know? But I have a thing for, I, we've been watching Matt Berry for so long and all these different characters. We have listened to his music. I think we even had sex to his music, you know? There's a, <laughs> there's a different relationship. The more you see somebody, I guess, in another character, like different characters... The le- like a toast to London. He's not to be like hated or something, or like looked down on like in the IT crowd or something, you know? Yeah. <sighs> well, and even with Nandor and the other one, I don't know nothing about them either, but I still like them. Fucking <laughs> 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 Yeah. <sighs> Maybe he's not entertaining. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't no, matter. He's, he's just, he doesn't fit. Well. It, 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 the, the, the flavor that he introduces to everybody else is like, well, that's, that's, that's like gross. It's like they. I got cherry, pecan, and then steak. Well, <laughs> I get like the I'll do anything for my master or whatever. But then he got into this, like, actually phase that didn't have, like, a storyline or whatever. So it's just, like, the actor being fucking actually to everybody. Like, he probably is in the real world because everybody's like that in the real world. Why would I think he's any different? (sighs) You've been beaten down so much and so dedicated to your cause, his character arc went in a unrealistic sort of way. Well, everybody was... It didn't follow the same... Not unrealistic, but... uh, It didn't follow the same... It's like he was his own story now or something, you know? Yeah. And they do jump around so much. Yeah. It's like... Everybody gets over things. The We don't know anything. Now there's a fucking Bureau of Soul Vampires. Uh, the, ener- the Energy or ener- Vampires. Yeah, Energy the Vampires. They didn't say shit about that fucking Guillermo's weird thing with his weird half vampire thing and the exploding of fucking vampires. Uh, um, Mr. What's-His-Face, Living Forever, the Energy Vampire. Well, living forever, or uh, turning into a baby, not living forever. (sighs) 
something about like uh I know there's more. I have to watch it or something. It's not shit that I keep in my head all the time. So much stuff about the the energy vampires that they snuck in there and then don't ever address again. Yeah. And they have to all address it in all the next season, like. It's like, would they do it the same? Are they doing the same thing to the whole? I don't know. There's. It's hard. Everything's hard. It's hard unless I guess the next step would have to be watching it again to try to fucking undo all the clues or do once the clues. <coughs> but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm too busy drinking milk and eating macaroni. Shall I start again? Mm, yeah. I slam into the band room door just as the light bell trills, panting and sweaty. Mr. Jingo. Good timing. Mr. Jingo. Mr. Mouse. Just in time for free period. We already got an Asian, but that's a Chinese, oh. right? Yeah. Wah. Oh, that's what? <laughs> Take everything you like and have fun. That's probably a Beatles. Pick up something and have fun. <laughs> the teacher then took out his extremely lavish love seat threw on a pair of headphones, and blacked out. Oh. <laughs> I looked at the scattered instruments, left alone for whatever reason. Dented-looking brass and cracked woodwinds, even a bass with a missing string. Wow. I feel like that right about now. <laughs> I reach for one at random, taking a wooden thing. Mm. It's hard in my hands. It looks like an oak tree. Made to love an eggplant. And this is the aborted monstrosity in Mexico. Where the imagination really... says I'm here is describing things in the most random way but most descriptive way possible like cause your brain went there I guess <sighs> so it's like oh really bad there's a a wooden thing that's Weird shaped, and abortions are monstrosities, and Mexico has poor health care. Yeah, is the uh is the old adage. So it's like there's a lot of I don't want to say because it, it feels too presumptuous. M me knowing me seeing them more than them seeing themselves writing this okay but he's there whoever multiple people they still have emotion that they're putting into it yeah. that they're expecting people to see which obviously I think we can see because there are <clears throat> problems everywhere kind of like oh what was it called um that don't don't flat don't flame okay oh stop flaming okay yeah fan fictions 
that Harry Potter one. Yeah. You can see her motivation through the story, but does she see the motivation of the characters or is she just displaying her motivation with the words? I remember writing like that. I remember trying to like reach somewhere where I was, but not really. And if I didn't skirt a line, then it wouldn't really make sense to anybody. But this is obviously makes more sense than fucking the, my chemical Potter. Uh, I don't know. Just a theory. A wife theory. A spit theory. Whatever. I melt into my chair oh, and did pull I? out my phone. Okay, no, sorry. We got past the abortion part. It seems a majority of my classmates have a similar idea. I have some shit posting to do. And he may be self-aware that he doesn't take an opportunity or that he's not aware. He's just describing how he experiences uh, school or how he experienced school. I wonder. Yeah. I do wonder. Let's see. Ah, yes. Perfect. Oh, capture's already clear? Bullshit. And now to wait. Oh, but this is like the most unique thing that's been on here, so I'm trying to look at it. You know, all the arts just kind of... Yeah. This... <laughs> He is on Fortune. That's that ad at the top is a recreation of the ad that often a, appears on the site. It's like for soccer. It's at, to go to their like soccer board or sports board. Oh, uh, it's not that guy begging for fans. The blue-haired guy. Uh, the ad at the top. It's got. There's well, a... I just because he's the one that I <laughs> always had seen the, at the mm. for the time that. I took oh, four chance oh, in the bathroom that, and that had to go to work safe because I'm, I'd be traumatized otherwise. Not that I'm I know what guy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I, I remember the blue haired with the big stupid glasses and yeah, that 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 beta cuck mm -hmm. vibe. I don't know. I probably shouldn't even say his name. Okay. And now to wait. Saint Weenie. That's his fucking name. <laughs> the fairest deed for the day done. I look around the room out of boredom. Oh, fuck no. Fang has a weapon of mass hearing loss. I'm covering my ears in preparation for when the petrorist... Terrorist? Oh, because it's a pterodactyl. The terrorist starts strumming. And... Oh, yeah. He did it. I think it... He's a terrorist. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. I still have my hearing. In fact, she's actually... <sighs> playing something pleasant. It's a mellow, relaxed, a slow rhythm that carries a strange nostalgic hint to it. The difference between this and the performance is night and day. What gives? Looking a bit closer, she's swinging her tail a bit to the rhythm. Oh, getting sexy. She uses her tail as a metronome. I appreciate, because I know he's telling the story with the pronoun bullshit, but I'm still, I avoid that shit like the fucking plague, because I'll just, I'll explode. Yeah. 
I appreciate that the character is still fucking doing she in his fucking head. <clears throat> Suddenly, the phone slips from my hand onto the floor. He hasn't been fully indoctrinated yet. How could he? We have the option to shoot these motherfuckers, right? <laughs> Best ending. So it falls on the floor, right? Well, I didn't know you Shit. read it. You could tell me you read it. I could move on. <laughs> or you could press the button for me. I got no arms or legs. <laughs> the sound it makes as it clatters on the ground is a klaxon of pants-shitting terror. Uh, it lies face klaxon. down on the aisle. Do I really want to pick it up and potentially see a harsh reality? Schrodinger's crack. What happened? He dropped his phone. Oh. Uh, because he's in music class. I was like, oh, maybe an instrument fell or some shit. Nah, he just dropped his phone. Sometimes I don't pay attention. I pick up the phone and slowly turn it over. It's the moment of truth. No cracks? Thank the Lord. That's the Raptor Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got lucky. Uh, Fang has stopped playing and is throwing a small smirk my way. Oh. Are you guys going to find each other? Find the meaning of the universe together? I know I want pe to to ha put my penis in you, but I don't know how that can fit in my life of I hate everything and everyone and I just want time to pass to my death. <laughs> Her playing is pretty good. I'll compliment that. That sounded way better than the video than in the video Reed took. Wrong choice of words. No, it wasn't. Ugh. You're, you're still not off my shit list. Watch it. <laughs> Quick and think. Uh, why didn't you play the guitar back then? You're obviously a lot better with it. What if I could have? What do you mean? There's an empty seat next to Fang. Finders keepers, I guess. Oh, what does that mean? He wants that. That tear, that pussy, pterodactyl pussy. Yeah. <sighs> that scaly bird. Well, wait to eat kind of thing. The band is just Retrish and I. So we have to decide by majority what happens. That sounds like a bunch of people debating, right? Instead of a bunch of people finding out together what the best thing is. Yeah. Seems kind of sketch. That's like ancient Roman dumbass bullshit, you know? They say they're doing shit different. No, they're not. <laughs> Reed says using a bass is more unique, and Trish always says how it's a promising business model. Oh, you have your own voice, but you suck at it. <laughs> Reed says using a bass is more unique. Everybody's bullying everybody, God. But it sounds like you oh, play the guitar much easier than a bass. I took your line. 
I played the bass just fine. I think the problem is more that if you want to make an unconventional band layout, you damn well better know what you're doing. If you're anything short of masterful, it won't sound good. You gotta have a shtick for some reason, I guess, right? What's our shtick? Because we're just... We do whatever we want. Yeah. They're not doing whatever they want. Lesson learned. Do whatever you want. Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to music, it either sounds good or it doesn't. But you don't want to hear you sound like shit. Simple. Simple as... Simple as queer as folk. She continues strumming. But it's just a high school band, right? Shouldn't it just be fun? It is, yeah. Even though you just are just doing what they want without getting a say in it. Bang flinches and misses a note. It's not like that. It's just Trisha's. I mean, god damn it. What? She's boss, bitch? Look, we're better with two bases. Trish and Reed say so. The yeah. uh. I almost said the audience at the concert to her out loud. What was that? Humongous what? Auditorium what? Nothing. None of your business. Ah! You know what? Cha, you know what? We're having band practice after school today. Oh shit, don't do it. Just show up and see for yourself. And what if I don't? You'll be a little bitch that's wrong. Mm. Oh. Flirt. Oh. In that case. Fuck you. I'm right. Your band sucks with two bases and you should have been on guitar. <sighs> Interesting how things have shifted now. Yep. He's not like, ooh, sorry. Your band sucks. <laughs> oh, is there gonna be all that protection again done right now? Locking eyes. I locked eyes with her. That's probably the most fucking attention. They're gonna end up doing it, I think, because... That hate shit is a bigger connection than love stuff most of the time. When people, they, it's like a spell or something. You end up hating someone, you think about them so often, right? That's probably how fucking a lot of marriages start. That's how some relationships started with me. Men like to pick fights and when they go they fight back even kind of how we met it's you didn't really start a fight with me but you were like something something and then I mentioned that no I don't I don't have balls because I'm I'm a girl there was that kind of like if you knew I was a girl would there have been really much like <gasps> moment, you know, just hearing me in some Call of Duty fucking uh lobby, whatever it would be different I think. Probably. <sighs> oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You. you uh, 
Wanna oh, be and here? we're calm now. Fuck me. <sighs> Hurry up, dweeb. If I can keep ahead of you while carrying two instruments, you can speed walk. <sighs> you sure you don't want me to carry one? Thing is leading me back to the auditorium with both the acoustic guitar and borrowed with both the acoustic guitar borrowed from the music room and her bass in hand one over each shoulder we eventually get to the auditorium fang stops any emotion why am i here try do you have it in like arms reach no <laughs> I'll grab it. Well, we eventually get to sin and uh, Did you read that? Sorry. Yeah. Is something wrong? <laughs> uh, something. <laughs> it wasn't. Good. Uh, is everything. The dual. Uh, auto did the thing. <sighs> you said you wanted to help. Oh, take my things, take my things. Pay attention to me because I want you to, because I'm a woman, I'm not a fucking they. <sighs> if women want to refer to themselves as split, <sighs> that's just opening a fucking can of worms. The moment a chick loses, I remember when I first lost mine. Well, I always kind of lost it, but then it just like fucking it was the f the final the thread, final thread ended up fucking put myself in a goddamn hospital. Cuz life is fucking crazy. And to walk around they 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 <clears throat> I don't know, I've never seen it. Yeah. Unless these people are just catered to so much that they have any sort of self-control. And this character seems at least a bit since the last uh scene or whatever <clears throat> like come to my thing and blah 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 and now they're walking together hmm yeah she swings the guitar cases on her shoulders around a bit uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I step around her and grab the handle pulling the door wide open but you just first. Ah, yeah. Fang growls and stomps on my foot as she walks past. That's so gross. <clears throat> well, look what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> they make it all about image, right? Did I say yesterday with the makeup and all that shit? Yeah. In certain kinds of clothes, fucking from outer space or whatever. It's like... If it's all a costume, and someone's attracted to that costume, they know who the fuck you are. Maybe you should just cool down and think about... Think about who you are. Without all of that crap. Think about yourself fucking buck-ass naked. <sighs> With another person who's buck-ass naked. Who you can make a baby with. You ever think about it that way? <clears throat> Fuck. And he's gonna do the anime thing and just like deal with it, you know? This is kinda like the Toradora. And yeah. the or what was that other one that was like even worse? Or Tor there was another one that wasn't as bad in Toradora. We were like, Fuck this shit. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, goddamn, what was that? It was Ugh. bad. Mm. Oh, 
fuck. Well, it doesn't... Does it, but that's like a lot. I'd be like, hey, listen, you fucking swirly bitch. <laughs> How do they just keep that anger in? Because I know people who do that and somehow people are like, but is it so... defeating to like fight that problem in real life that it's displayed so often in fake life and not just in fake life the defeatedness yeah cuz they don't want to be there if he didn't if he wanted to be there Kind of like in Torador, that guy, eventually, like, no matter what, he went in the right direction, into a, a, a nice direction, the best direction. Like, listen, bitch, I held this fucking door for you. <clears throat> like, get into it. You were just yelling, fuck you. Get into it about why she did that, you know? It's over now. It's only, like, spastic things. Instead of, like, facing problems, it's only when those attacks kind of come at each other at the same time. And now there's no resolution. Yep. Where does Reed keep that huge drum set during the day? Uh... Trish waves her arms from the stage. Hey, Fang, what took so long? Had to grab something! Trish squints in the spotlight and finally notices me. What? Is the poor fucking kid with no goddamn face doing here? Fang slings both cases onto the stage then climbs on herself. Proving a dumbass biggie wrong. So you admit they're smart ones. Fang then ripped something <laughs> from Shish's hand and threw it at me. Fucking, is that the... You can't... You got something to say and you want somebody to say it? Then you gotta learn to talk about it. Instead of just fighting, what are you fucking ooga boogieing all over the place about? And that's like everybody. They fucking re until somebody says something to them and they pretend to pass out like a goat. <sighs> what the fuck? It strikes against my head with a dull tonk and lands on the ground in front of me. Oh, was it a bike lock? You fucking protester? Looking down at the makeshift shuriken, it was a copy of Verm Drama's hit new single, In Dragon Onslaught. <laughs> Cute little artwork for the CD. I like that. What's with that fucking face? <laughs> Habib over there. <laughs> Weird. Fang, I just made that in our class. It looks like Picasso had a seizure. Again. What? what? <laughs> He was being an ass. I was. Like, are we on break now? We haven't even started. <laughs> Audience clapping. <laughs> Fang, why is it on here? Like I said, proving him wrong. More like proving me right. 
says the woman. Oh. I took it, proving it wrong how. Like playing guitar, right? You wanted, you wanted to play your guitar? What? Yes, I mean. Ha. No, I mean, Anon thinks that if I use a guitar instead of bass, the music would sound better. But no way. I know, right? <sighs> wow, way to throw everything off, Anon. Hmm. Let's just get through. I need meth money by Tuesday night, and if I don't get it, I will stomp on your child. <sighs> I didn't know what I was getting myself into before I started reading that. <laughs> Words didn't stop coming. <laughs> right. Don't say I. Hell, mow. I um. Three, two, one. Things are a little better than before. <laughs> My, My mind, mind went blank. blank. I don't know what just happened. They were too good. They summoned the devil with that shit. I look to the stage and see Fang panting, looking distressed. So see, totally awesome. <laughs> Right? I don't need your disapproval, though, or approval. Oh. I'm only happy when it rains. <laughs> Not the word I would use. I think you should give the guitar a try. Oh, shut up. You don't know anything about music. Might as well. That's what I brought him for after all. You're really siding with him on this. We already decided Verm Drama is better with only drum and bass, remember? It's not... Taking a vote is not agreeing. If... It's... Two to one... For a decision. That doesn't mean it's now a whole... Unanimous vote. You didn't shift my vote. I lost. I still have my opinions. So why does that get written in a visual novel? Because people, I guess, are like this. Yeah? Yeah, I would say so. <sighs> is that the way also government is? Not too much, because they still, you know, bitch about this and that. Yeah. Distract with UFOs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, these girls trying to distract with UFOs. Aren't there, like, two bands in existence that pulled that off? Corn. That means there's a chance then, yeah. Well, you have to fucking practice and listen to. Is it something you would want to listen to? Like, I don't. Are people this vapid? Am I so detached from the world that I'm alien now and I don't understand why people. This is why we need bullies, right, Turmore? Uh, you may be right, wife. It can't hurt You're to try. You're not Trevor Moore. <laughs> Sorry, it was... No, I am... That's the true thing. I am not Trevor Moore. <sighs> not that I want you to be Trevor Moore. I would just... Like it if he wasn't dead. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Why can't I raise the dead? 
If I could raise the dead, I would raise him first. Ugh. Ask him what he experienced. Yeah, I guess he would be like the first one, so then we're like, hey, so now that we know this information, who do we raise next? I would raise Hitler. What an interesting story. Am I right? So here's the thing. When you raise Hitler from the dead, he doesn't have a whole fucking army. You know, like, so fucking calm down for one. <laughs> Not you specifically. <laughs> he would not just be in a constant angry rage like a rabid dog. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think he would have a thing or two to say about some things, and I would like to know what it is. Well, I would raise Martin Luther King. Yeah, so the CIA that still exists can fucking shoot him again? Idiots. <laughs> I ain't telling nobody who I'm raising. They're living until we get ready for a public statement. <laughs> Aliens? How would you even raise someone? Like, if, say you want to, I, I want to raise Jesus. Okay. And that would be weird. That would be, like, ironic to, like, Christianity. <laughs> so you raise Jesus. <clears throat> How do you know how to get Jesus? You would have to probably like break into the vet. Like you would need some sort of DNA to do this. You don't just wish it. Cause who's granting them wishes? No. You gotta like mine through time and space and shit. Like the, like the game. Get a sorted souls or whatever. Mm. Anyway. Creepy. Yeah. The summer seas. Skies. The uh raising people from the dead gets sketchier as you get to like uh, an older place. You can't it's not like Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. We can just beep, 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 and go there physically through time. Yeah. Uh, it's my imagination. <clears throat> and this is... This guy... This is Someone else's imagination. Or a group of people's imagination. Ow! There's something there. Husband... Who'd be the second? Oh, no. who'd be the per second person I raised? Oh, yeah, I think I, <laughs> I already <laughs> answered that. Got Trevor Moore. Hmm. I guess the third doesn't matter because I can't do it. I think me and Trevor Moore and Hitler and you, of course. We can have a good conversation. Plato. There you go. Plato and Dion of Syracuse. And those are the four people that I would raise from the dead. It can't hurt to try, right? <laughs> Didn't you? I thought you might try to sneak the cart in there, but... We'll see if he, it's even necessary. I mean, I don't know if he wants to be alive. I guess I could ask. <laughs> I'll give him a call later. I probably said Hitler is the second, and this dude was like, nope. <laughs> Oops. Band decision made our choice. Did we already read this? Maybe he's right, Trish. What's the big deal? The deal is we're wasting enough time as it is when we should be practicing. So this is another twist, huh? That she's getting bullied by her friends and she doesn't know it. Yeah. 
especially wasting time on playing guitar when it doesn't match any of our stuff. Oh, dang it! Dang it all the frick. Oh man, bringing up the, the rough words today. <laughs> that clearly struck a nerve. Wasting time playing guitar. What's that supposed to mean? Bang rounds on Trish, jabbing an accusing finger into the little triceratops. Surprisingly voluminous chest oh a not anon is always noticing the uh the, the but he also he said the smile too is like it contradicts her smile so he likes something about one of the characters i think that purple one the purple drink one over there <laughs> that purple drink one <laughs> every time i want to make changes you guys always overrule me even when it's something like playing my favorite instrument in my own band. Yikes. Maybe not every decision should be a democracy. There's agreeing. And there's democracy. And agreeing is a danger to democracy. And democracy is a danger to agreeing. So I've been told. So what are they gonna do? Come on, Fang. You know I didn't mean it that way. We decided the demo. We decided that democratically. Right, Reed? Yeah, but like there are only three of us, you know. I I'll hate myself for this. This is just like when my friend she always had boyfriends, <laughs> and I would always say things. Almost like the shit posting thing. I didn't mean to though. I would always make them fight because I would ask a question where they had separate opinions, and it would be like terrible the whole rest of the time. Fun. Yeah. That's life. This is already getting too intimate for me. Hasn't it been from the start? He doesn't like nobody or nothing. But maybe I should say something. It's only going to get worse if I don't. Juxtaposition. That guy from my love story, how he uh -huh. had such intricate inside thoughts about yep. his love and his desires. And then this guy. <laughs> but it seems like a personal argument between them. <gasps> we have to save. Just like in Final Fantasy 2. <clears throat> Effia, Effia? Hmm, I don't know. I'll think about it. I was trying to make a, a connection. I don't know if it worked. Effigy, Effigy. Ooh, Effigy. Because the Effigy, eff Effigy, Effigy. That's when you, like, hurt. Burn. You burn a person, right? That's always a creepy thing. Yeah, or okay. a representation of a thing you don't. That you want on fire. Yeah. Or you just set something on fire and it's an effigy. The effigy means something. Effigy tower. Mm. You Do you have anything good to say? Why don't we play rock, paper, scissors for it? Why don't you just try a couple things and see, is that what he's going to say? Try try it both ways and see if anybody likes it. See if everybody's booing you. If they're not, keep doing it. Practice, practice, practice. Speak up. What are you going to say, hillbilly? Fang does seem very passionate about playing guitar. It could only help their music, right? Oh yeah, you probably have to like the instrument you're playing. That would make sense. So much insight. Just give Fang a chance. Then you never even let them play guitar. <laughs> have you <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just give Fang a chance. Have you ever even let them play guitar with the band? Oh, he fucking went there. They nodded each other. That seemed to stop Trish and her presidential Yeezys. 
Yeezys is a shoe. I think so. Is that just the a word for shoes now? Or is that specifically when referring to uh, what Kanye West probably? Or the gay one? Yeah, I think it's Kong. That made made shoes out of blood. It was okay. Well, I oh, well, not really. We voted on it our first jam session together. Fang made a weird face, like she couldn't believe I was standing up for her. <sighs> Honestly, I couldn't believe I stood up for her either. But god damn it, I'm winning this challenge. Strange motivations. If you're really Frank's friend, Frank friend, Frank friend, Frank, <laughs> you're Debbie Dinkle, you should at least let them try. Fish's mouth open and closed as if she were trying to find the right words. She threw up her hands and let out a frustrated sigh. Oh, cause you're you were poor at arguing this? Fine, I guess we can try it with the guitar. Alright, this time we're doing I gave the special kids the Jonestown special and now I'm going to jail. <gasps> I was like, oh shit, I might as well <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> Did it the first time. I'm gonna need Raptor Jesus after this one. <laughs> and a three, two, and. Opposed to this nostalgic tune earlier. Fan rapidly strums on her borrowed guitar. It's fast and rough, but the tone carry doesn't melt my eardrums. Watching and listening now, I can hear the difference clear as day. They're actually not bad. Actually. Not good. Not by any metric w worth its weight. You have to describe it to know the worth and weight to do the conversions actually the filler for information and then weighing it converting it and weighing it without understanding it just and actually come on now but at least i don't cringe so hard my spleen erupts <laughs> from my side from my sides and creates a splash zone i find myself bobbing to the song in fact and just consider and just as I consider the song getting good, it ends. <laughs> I feel a little disappointed that the show ended so soon. Then I remembered it's not a show at all. Oh. And then, and that I definitely won. Uh. As a female, I have to say, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> There's sweat dripping from Fang's brow, and her black clothes are clinging, uh, uh, clinging to her a bit more tightly. Yeah. That's, that's probably where this, the ludes come in. Oh. You turn those off. Yeah. You could be seeing fucking teenagers. I think we could just, if we want. Oh, yeah, they're teenagers. Uh, maybe the lewdness is cur No, cursing has. Sh okay. <laughs> I'm fine with my decisions. That's that's how you know it's an FBI fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> the grin on her face stands out the most. Oh, is that what he's uh, saying? He's like, bitch, you look cute when you smile. <laughs> Let me see that pussy. See, totally better with a guitar, Trish. Ha! I win! Trish Reed and Fang turn to look at me. He doesn't- he hates fucking attention, but now that he won, right? He's okay with getting fucking attention. <laughs> give, give it to me now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, goddamn it. 
So, you're a normal man. I mean... Trish oh. scowls. <laughs> a vote, then. Who votes if we stick to drum and basses? See what happens when you do the pronoun thing? You don't understand plurals and whatnot? Drum and basses. She's the only one to raise her hand. Oh. I... Oh, man. Uh, Even I raise my hand along with Reed and Fame. I'm in the band now. This fucking guy. So he didn't go, hey, let's vote again. Mr. Fucking Passive over here. Come on now. You just, well, that's what we agreed on. Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to vote all the time. And if you have to go, you know, every year, or six years, or four years... And go through a bunch of chaos. Maybe you're doing something wrong. Even I raised my hands along with Reed and Fang. I said that too. You stay out of this, Skinny. Skinny? Yay! What? Yes. Yes. <sighs> so, like, do we gotta redo all the songs? No, just the ones you're in. Motherfucker. You're out of the band! It's only one instrument line. Shouldn't take too long. Ugh. There goes our main marketing strategy. What are you, kisses? Freaking. We don't have to be good, we just gotta be marketable. Ugh. That's life, though. Marketing strategy? I thought she was a Triceratops, not a Rhino Rex! Oh! I'm, I'm abusing my good luck here. I'm sorry, I heard it in Ariel, <laughs> so I decided to say, you go ahead. <laughs> so, I should probably leave. That was very fun, you guys. I hope I can see you all play more. Again. Tom better more. now than it was before. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, cool, right? Bye. I win. <laughs> As I move to the door, Fang calls out. Way. We, uh. I look to her. I look to see her fidgeting on stage. We could, uh. Oh, feedback. We could use your feedback. Oh, what? We what? <laughs> Fang from him. Why? He's, He's shit. You want to put the fucking dress on? Uh, you want to put the baby in your stomach? I hate these. I hate these ladies. Anyways, you can you can say all the words if you want. Would you like to say all the no, words? No, go for it. I, I we gotta keep doing the thing. He, do we? Do you, do we have to take no. a vote? Do we do everything <laughs> until there's a vote? He's been helpful, so why not? Read. Back me up, huh? Mm, okay. Anna should stay. He's a bro. <laughs> what? Really? Anon, you'll stick around a while, right? You want to see what I keep in my navel? Ooh, his eggs. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs. If you guys will order some Dino Mo's, sure. Oh, I saw. What's his name? Jack Crusoe, Pepe Le Pew, the uh, the the cook, the TV cook, Jack, the frugal gourmet, the French uh. one. He made some hard soft boiled eggs, and he like put this cheesy sauce on them, or like a, a bechamel sauce. Uh huh. And when he cut them open, they were like still all runny and stuff. He put spinach underneath? I want that. The three uh, of them just stare blankly. Wait. Auditorium? Pizza? Fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. For the love of all that's holy, why now? He just got his period. Uh, I mean, uh... Actually, I have to go, like, right now. So, bye. Why? I can spring for pizza if you're too poor. No, 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 no need. Plus, I just remembered I had to do uh, important things. 
more important than our fucking music? Uh, yeah. See, I have to go return a, a, a book. Fucking hell mouth. Don't go slipping weeb talk now. Oh, you're a secret weeb. See, it's way overdue, and I cannot afford the late fee. Because he's poor. Wait a minute. Huh? I almost didn't recognize Reed's voice. He said that way too sharply. That late date is like two weeks. Are you up to something, Annan? Because he hasn't been there two weeks. He sounded completely lucid and didn't slur any words. Hmm, I guess all the drugs wore off. Oh no! Shut it down! Shut it down. <laughs> the pink Cubone knows. It's from the library near my place. It's super strict. You don't know how public libraries are like. Right. What is he trying to avoid? Did I miss something? Will you just uh, fucking leave already? I love you, Trish. Oh, is that the secret? That he has fallen in love with the he-they or she-they? With the split personality? Yeah, Trish is the purple one. Like, so just, he loves her too? Yeah, just using that get the fuck out as an excuse to get the fuck out. With the I love you, Trish. Yeah, I love you, Trish. She's like, get the fuck out. Uh... Like, I love you, Trish. As I turn to make my way out of there, on stage, I hear... Thank you. I uh, hear them chattering. Okay, now, how about, I'm not sure why, but the burglar joined my threesome. To make a foursome? That could have gone on a little longer, because I was... <laughs> uh, don't think about a threesome with Trish and Fang. Don't think about oh, a threesome with Oh, who called Trish and it? Fang. The meteor dodgers were crying out loud. Hmm. Everybody saw his boner. That's why he's got to return a book. He's got to deposit some cum. It's overdue. <laughs> okay, guess for one second. Ooh. Fuck. Things are getting hot and heavy. Yeah, I'm glad the ludes are off. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Faceless guy jerking it. Well, don't make me think about it. That's a <laughs> that's a thought crime. I've been unable to focus much today. My original plan is in absolute tatters, as opposed to staying silent and not facing any conflict. Now, uh, I'm now all buddy-buddy with the school reject club. Oh, man, the losers. And then there's Nazer and Naomi as well, and all their issues. At any moment, I feel like I'm going to get found out. We don't even get to know who the main character is. This whole time we've been watching him, he's only been letting us in as much as he wants to let people in. To tell his story, right? His story, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm deducing. <laughs> I'm deducing! Over here. Triss would certainly beat me senseless. Ooh, Fang might as well. Ooh, and maybe they'll vomit on me and let me lick their toes. Definitely Nazer. Oh, yeah. You'll pee all over me. <laughs> all this shit happening. I can't even get into my favorite hobby. What is that? Shit posting. Why? Oh. I don't think I've made a single forum post in three, three days. Three days? I stared down at my phone screen and see a sea of threads to see post. See a sea. And yet, I have nothing to say. <sighs> I probably didn't have anything to say before. <laughs> uh, wait, it's already seven? Are you shaking the thing on purpose? Nervous tick much? What, you got AIDS? 
You need some Ritalin, boy? <laughs> Wait, it's already seven? Fuck me. Fuck at me, I drag my feet too much. I sprint the rest of the way to scoop. Luckily, I'm able to slink into homeroom without the teacher molesting me for a tardy pass. Do I wait? I moved in for the macaroni. You'd get it more if you heard this music. While you were uh, reading, kind of trying to be all slick about it. I'm uh, a sneaky snake. Oh, slinking sneaky in. Sneaky snake. Classes tick by in the daily slog. And like all things, lunch eventually comes to pass. <laughs> I grabbed a Thank packed you, lunch from the omnivore line and began to look for a place to sit. By now, it's a foregone conclusion. I already know what happens next. Where's the sexy stega? Anin. Right on cue. She says it on purpose. Naomi rushes over, followed by Nazer. I'd really rather not deal with her any more today. Come on, Enin. Let's continue our conversation from earlier. Stuff in her face, talking. Uh -huh. You know, the extracurriculars like the Gordon Club. Erg. <laughs> I don't think I have the time. I'm way behind in some of my classes already. Do you even want to spend your time like that? You're talking about music, aren't you? Proper noun music? Oh, music oh it, was, it is, yeah. Proper mu music. The kind they play on sexy boat rides. Oh. On Lake George. We go dancing. <laughs> yeah, pork chop dinner. <laughs> $20. Can you believe it? Man, what a deal. <laughs> Naomi, please stop memorizing the schedule of the new students. Sorry, but I did help Anon pick his electives. Directives. Ooh, erectives. Why did I agree to padding out my credits with a new subject? I never thought I lived to regret zoning her out. Naomi places a finger on her chin <laughs> for a moment and stares into space. Suddenly, her face lights up. Wait, don't you share that class with Feng? Why not ask her? I'm sure she'd lend a hand. I don't know. She's Why didn't you say that to the brother or some shit? Why is... Is that the point, like, a not Anan gets... <laughs> In like everybody's business, people put him in everybody's business for like no reason. Maybe. Did I let you read that? Uh, no. I don't know. She's usually very busy with her own work, and I don't want to bother her any more than I already do every day. It can't hurt to ask, though, right? Just a thought. Anyway, will you be joining us for lunch again? I need to think of something. And fast. No, fuck you. <laughs> Run. Sweet the leg. Uh. <laughs> oh, sorry. I already promised Fang I'd be eating with her. Ooh. Smooth. You wanna fuck my sister? Oh. 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 Ooh. Uh. I'm glad to hear you're trying to be better friends with Fang. Well, hey, this is a welcome surprise. Oh, I'm gonna need more milk, husband. Okay. More Maybe milk. you don't mind. Leaving me with actually, right, actually, she doesn't eat in the cafeteria, does she? Didn't she tell you she hangs out with her band in the auditorium? She's allowed to do that. I've asked Principal Spears 
before. He sees no issue with it. Dang. You fucking tattletale. Huh. Anyways, I uh, don't want to keep them waiting. See you. Have fun. Right by. I turn away from the two and leave them behind. Now that I'm in front of the auditorium, when it isn't crowded for once, I can get a decent look around the foyer. foyer the walls are as vine-covered as anywhere else in the building, <sighs> but the but the ones here have small magenta flowers blooming on them here and there. Aw! He's noticing flowers. Aw, what a cute boy. What a cute boy. What's up, boy? <clears throat> I suppose there's different kinds of vines. Wouldn't make much sense otherwise. Never really thought about it until now. Ooh, is he opening his mind to new and wild thoughts? I open the door enough to see Fang's gangs lazing about within. Reed is messing with some box on a table, and Fang and Trish are sitting on the first row of seats, chattering to each other. I put my hand on the door handle and hesitate a bit. Then I pull it open. Oh! The hey, there's purple ones. <clears throat> Why aren't the words and the, the look mix? He's like, hey, I never saw the fl these have fl may Well, maybe I'm just judging. That's kind of, I mean, if that's there, and the purple and the magenta, I wouldn't notice. It's really far away. Maybe it's just because I'm old and blind. These are high school uh. students. Oh, excuse me. The squeak no. of the door echoes uh. through the <laughs> near empty auditorium, and immediately all three turn their heads and stare. Uh. There's an awkward pause that goes on for just a bit too long. Chasing somebody instead of just sitting with somebody at lunch. Taking the effort to go to the auditorium to be with Fang. Fang. Eventually, <clears throat> Fang calls out from her seat. What the hell are you doing here, dweeb? <laughs> uh -huh. Hiding from Naomi. Fang throws her head back and goes limp on the shitty wooden chair. Naomi's always watching. Oh, that bitch. Is that how she would say it, you think? Uh -huh. <coughs> uh, the tone sounds really accurate. <laughs> Fang lifts her head back up. Fine, you can stay. I go sit a few yards away from Fang and Trish on the theater seat. Reed turns back to that device he was messing with before. <laughs> Not sitting with them? <laughs> no, I can't just... I'm just gonna sit and watch you from a distance and judge. Oh, looks like a projector. You don't like Naomi? Uh, eh, so mean all the time. Whoa, what was your first fucking clue? That stupid bitch acting all high in my uh, all the time. Hey, Fang. Oh, look at me. I'm super smart and nice to everyone, and everyone likes me, so if you disagree with me, uh, I get the more high ground no matter what. That's what everybody thinks about themselves, isn't it? Right. That's kind of what it's been seeing. Fang lets out some combination of a snort and a sigh. <laughs> no different with Nazer. What a couple. Ugh, whatever. What was she doing to bother you? She's been pestering me about every little thing since school started. 
granted, she's been a big help in some cases, but she she's overbearing sometimes. Fine. I'll say, sometime in the first semester, she ended up helping me with a major science project. We only had a day to do the whole thing. You wait until the last day for a major grade? It? That doesn't matter. Shut up. Anyways... <laughs> Naomi insisted on helping me, and I just went along with it. I'm only gonna tell you as much as you deserve to be told. I don't... <laughs> Weird attitude. She ended up just bossing me around for eight hours. Hey guys, did you forget I'm here too? We were too much sharing sexual eyes with each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. What were you talking about, Trish? Tiny tits, Trish? Uh, Trish pulls a cardboard tube out of her backpack. She pops the top of the tube open and pulls a rolled-up poster out and unfurls it. This, ta-da! Our first poster, marketing, marketing, marketing. Worm Dharma. Oh, <laughs> she spelled it wrong. Worm Dharma. Oh, I've got her. On the shirt, it says Worm Drama. T shirt, CD. Rawr. Well, I like that. That's definitely not a chick that made that. Worm <laughs> <laughs> Drama. That's an interesting name. What's with the date on it? Trish wants we need to have an actual show, not some dumb school show. Maybe you should try it one more time with them guitars. We need actual people who matter to show our genius to... Woo! Genius? More like retardation! Uh, am I right, fellas? I don't know Trish. Yeah, I'm with Fang on this one. The glare Trish levels at me was akin to a very dull knife. You don't even know how good we are! That was simply a practice session. Since you're Nasser's friend too, just know he ruined our first concert, right Fang? That's me too. Oh yeah, if he hadn't invited all those cocksuckers. Ooh. Still, I think. It doesn't matter what you think. What a great attitude. Whoa, where did that come from? I don't know, she's been doing it since you met. <laughs> Let's drop it for now. My tuna sandwich is getting cold. Ew, what? It's yeah. a hot tuna fish sandwich? Yeah, tuna. Trish grins in victory. Dude, you got told. What the fuck am I doing? I'm dead if I out myself while I was numbered here. Trish told me like she knew I, I was there. It had to happen eventually. I pray it's not the case. I finally got to opening my omnivore lunch. A BLT, some chicken nuggets, and an orange. <clears throat> a, a sandwich and chicken nuggets. Interesting. How long have we been doing this? Oh. Wrong one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about four hours. A little bit more. Okay. Just, well, how would we go? Five hours last time? Fuck it. I can hold it in. No. Uh. <laughs> Fine. Oh, BLT. I take my first bite of the sandwich and... Ding dong, bing bong. It's a new student again, goddammit. Are you kidding me? 
I cram as much of the sandwich in my mouth as I can and close the box. Reed puts the projector in the corner of the room and Trish makes for the exit with Fang. I follow after, cheeks still filled with food. It comes. Next class is music. That's right. I'll be walking with Fang then. The three all wave each other goodbye and Fang turns towards our shared class. May as well make some small talk. So, uh, what's your favorite band, Fang? Favorite band? Oh shit! My favorite band, huh? Yes, it'd be something like the Stinks, maybe the Fossilies, Fossilily, fo Fossilies, Fossilize, maybe the Fossilize. Oi, that air er, some ray based taste, yeah. You are man talking all over my lines. I I'm gonna am. woman talk all over your lines. This is the new war the uh, game. <laughs> now uh, pfft, she turns away to hide her snickers. Fat much? Shut it. I'm sure your favorite is much better. I'm into we gotta save. Just in case we can. This is such a long story, though. It's like, how do you even get all the. <sighs> Boomer rock, obscure hipster shit, anime openings, and video game soundtracks. I would say Boomer rock. That's all I listen to, but who is he? Who is this guy? Yeah, what? What type of personality does this have? What's he doing in his room where he's got nothing? Anime openings? That's pretty, like, silly, though, right? Do boys like that shit? Because they're, like, poppy and... Yeah. We did, I think we had one of them webovers though, there's, you know, some fucking fat guy in high school dancing to some fucking anime opening thing. Yeah, but he's trying to not be that, right? Because he's got big monkey hands? Or does it not even matter? It's Danny DeVito. He's like, guys, <laughs> <laughs> Steve Hams. <laughs> so... Boomer Rock. Boomer Rock. Fang holds a hand up to her breast. I changed it. Uh, I'm going to jail. <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. God, you are such a dweeb. Probably should have said that, or she would have said that for any... I flashed her my biggest shit-eating grin. At least I don't have a uh, loisance to listen to it. Least I don't need a license to listen a to license. it. Probably. Oi, love. Didn't share me taste to get rallied on. Bit rude, in it. In it. The two of us banter with each other with increasing strong British accents all the way to class. Wow, we're really getting along now, aren't we? This is like an episode of Dawson's Creek. They didn't want to wait Dot for the classroom <laughs> to be over. <laughs> Arg, this stupid define a treble clef. I don't know what a treble clef is. I don't care about this shit. It won't ever be useful. Fuck this. Who can I cheat off of? Yeah, why don't they why didn't they teach music as like something we want to be interested in? Like, hey, do you like how this sounds? Do 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 do. Well, you need to know these things to reproduce that. Let's uh, take things better than people have in the past, or do things better than people did a little bit in the past. I'm sure learning music was a lot easier at some point. 
But there was too many people teaching it, too many people, you know. Yeah. And it's just, they were just regurgitating information. All those teachers there wouldn't be enough people to fucking teach how to teach, let alone teach. I leaned back in my uncomfortable chair, hoping to pop my spine back in place. Why would teenagers need to do that? That's some fucked up shit. Yeah. Wait, don't you share that class with Fang? Why not ask her? I'm sure she'd lend a hand. I craned my head, looking for Fang. Can you refresh the right one? Is it working properly? I thought there was usually, like, the time and stuff information over there. Maybe not. Never mind. There's something. Oh, 401. She's at her own desk. She's filling out her assignment pages easily. Drumming her fingers on her desk. Wait, is this like a... For some reason I heard it... Say, song like a like a cake song. Patty cake, patty cake. <sighs> cake song. Cake. They were a band in the oh, nineties. band they in did the nineties. The, 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 the short skirt, long jacket. I think so. Yeah. yeah. She's at her own desk. She's filling out her assignments pages easily. You know. <laughs> in a long jacket. She's at her own desk. She's filling out her assignment page easily. Drumming her fingers on her desk. Almost looks like she's strumming honestly. Ah, that's another thing. Who the fuck made guitars? Fucking trying to memorize frets or whatever the fuck. Those are just supposed to be representations of the noises that are made on a... On a thing that can get lower and higher. But they don't teach you that in class. No. And you're just like, who made this so that, like, like the boring information came first? Almost like. To do the fret thing. Where where did people know to do this call? See, it's because they just did it and then honed it with all those, like, different, what are they called, chords or whatever? Yeah. There's, like, some sort of separation that defines, like, it doesn't make that much of a different noise from here to here but here's the center you know vibrations and whatever changing weird stuff they don't talk about the vibrations they don't talk about the fucking magnets nope uh that's another thing who the fuck made guitars who the fuck made me read that who shit my pants magician with the candlestick in the diner Oh shit, she's looking at me now. She tilts her head and taps her sheet. Oh. I respond with an eye rolling finger and gun to my temple. My thumb hammer drops and I fake die in my seat. Are they doing like the thing in the leftovers? When they're like, you can pray if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Uh. <laughs> the main girl. Julia, uh huh, the uh, the the daughter, Garvey daughter, Gar Garvey daughter. She was like doing suicide things with the other yeah. the kid in class that they were. Yeah. She had a crush on. Is that what's going on right now? That's what it seems like. I saw, oh yeah, I fake die in my seat. This is almost. This is like the leftovers. This is like being in one of their heads, somebody who was at Mayberry High School or whatever. Hmm. Fang shakes her head, returning to her assignment with a tiny smile gracing her beak. I look at the papers we need to finish. Fuck me! How the hell are we supposed to finish these by the end of class? It can't hurt to ask though, right? Right? Maybe the Neon Nero has a good point. Still interrupting Fang now might piss her off. Fuck. I'll flip a coin. Fuck. Oh, another choice already? This is the house that 4chan built. 
I'm kind of interested. I mean, if we're spending so much time, like, getting in, trying to, like, you know, get into it. We yeah. should probably figure out like who who made this. Is it multiple people? Is it I don't know, just to get general general information. Know what we're dealing with here. Who's the perp? <sighs> I gotta decide a coin flip. I guess that's every choice though, huh? Deciding what could otherwise be decided with a coin flip. <laughs> Uh, we want to try to fuck her, but we also don't want to call her they, huh? Like, listen, if you're going to be my boo, you're going to be my woman. Get over here. To my tuba. Yeah. Should we try to... Ask her for help. But they're not going to give us a choice. They're just, oh, let's be depressed together, and then let's make another choice where we're depressed together or some shit. Ask her for help. Oh, we need her help, though, right? Yeah. Hmm. Guess that's that. May as well get it over with. I slink out of my chair and go around to Fang's desk. Fang, Fang. Uh. She jumps in her chair. What, what, what? How do you... I'm sorry, Mrs. Husband. Go for it. <sighs> Do it in your your sexiest lady voice, though. My sexiest lady voice. How? How'd you get? Don't scare me like that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That's what you said. <laughs> I look to her work and see she's only a quarter done. Fuck. I hope we have enough time. So, you seem to be capable of deciphering dead languages. Wah? Can you help me with this? Help you with the assignment? Yes, I don't get any of this. It's all moon runes to me. How'd you even join this class? Only elective that had an open slot, apparently. Even though it's mid-semester, and I'm expecting to be at the level of everyone else's been here all year. Fang leans her head Fang down leans. and holds her hand on top of her muzzle. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like pinching the bridge of your nose. Whatever, it's fine if the teacher gives the green light. Wow, you're such a rebel that you're asking freaking permission. It's Ugh. cool that we cheat. Let's this is does cheat. this the person who wrote this know this is very 1984 like? It's fucking Julia. The well, not really Julia, but like those kids, those next door kids. Those, oh the, yeah. What were they called? The military. It's the spies. Little baby spies or something like. To yeah, tell tell junior, them on your parents. The, the junior spies or some shit. <clears throat> anti sex league. Uh... <sighs> What the fuck? <laughs> uh, It'll be fine. Bang and I jumped several inches. I touched her boob totally on accident. What are you doing here? And what's with the costume? Reed is in an overly large inflatable T-Rex costume. What does it say on King Rex? I get a signature for this absent vote. Anyways, Mr. Jingo doesn't care if you use like partners and stuff. He just wants the work done. I I see. I didn't know you were also the school mascot, Reed. There's like pockets in here, man. You get to bring a lot of cool stuff. As long as you clean it after. Oh my god! It's just like a hot boxing in the fucking <sighs> I'm not even gonna bother at this point. Or is it just meth? It's getting worse. It's just toxic. <laughs> Thanks, Reed. It's all good, man. Reed gets man, up. Man, did you just fucking call uh, they a man? That's right. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> 
Reed gets up and goes to the teacher desk in the corner of the room. I turn back to Fang expectantly. Ooh, expectantly. I'm not getting up. Get your crap and sit down already. Thanks. Oh, Jesus, you suck at this. No shit. I don't know what half this shit is. God, they tell you about trouble notes in elementary. It's EGBD for treble and GBDFA for bass. How the hell do you know any of this? What does that even mean to somebody who is unfamiliar with... Oh, well, it all makes sense now. <sighs> and then realized he is horrendously fucking stupid. I've been playing into... I've been into playing music since pre-K. Good for you, that's not me. Roll with it. So, because he took a different path in life, he's stupid? <sighs> so does it take long to learn that horrid thing? I point at the class's electric guitar. Nah, I started with piano. I didn't get my first guitar till freshman year. The <sighs> piano? Isn't that the hardest one? I have no clue what I'm talking about. Maybe for some, but I started early and got ahead. My grandma had an old piano she would let me mess around with. She would try to get me to play all kinds of songs, mostly church stuff because she wanted me to be a little goody two shoes like she was. It was fun. <clears throat> then I started taking piano lessons privately because my mom saw that I was interested in it and in middle school I joined the band for a while only quit because in marching season I was not wearing a dumb uniform <sighs> Fang it's a strange expression <laughs> a mix between a blush Grr. and a scowl as she returns back to her snappy attitude you done with that yet? it's taking you way too long rather have you out of my way Cute. I'll show her half-finished worksheet. I still don't get this fucking part. It's literally three classifications is really easy. What's a classification? It doesn't list them. Did you even read the page? Fang then grabs a paper and points to the top right. In a small box is a list of three types woodwind, brass, and percussion. Oh. That's us, right? Yeah. yeah, sorry. Oh. You still need me to help you with this, or do you have it from here? <sighs> of course I have it. I know this shit. It's just three categories. <clears throat> percussion is simple enough. Getting the difference between woodwind and brass is a bit harder. Right. You know your stuff. Band stuff. I heard a sigh from Fang. I can't believe this. What is it? Why did you leave your old school? Oh, here it comes again. What? Where did that come from? You doing some digging, man. That's a weird thing. This is the fucking Thought Police school. Dino Thought Police. Just wondering, though, I think I know the answer. Why do you care? You're here for just two weeks and already you've wedged yourself in with my friends. Oh, you're that special? <laughs> and it's glowing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have a choice there, bang. I just wanted to cruise through this year. I'm not good with friends. Sorry, I just had a feeling. I myself haven't gotten many new friends in a few years. Uh, it's like I make people avoid me. I don't like new people. That's weird. Fuck them, you know? Sure. 
but whatever you say, bitch. You act like you have had a hard time socializing. I'm not seeing it. What? You act like you have a hard time socializing. I'm not seeing it. Oh, because he's attractive? Makes me think you didn't leave your school out of necessity, but because you really must have fucked up royally. I know you're kind. I, I, what did Fang mean by that? <clears throat> what, because he wasn't bullied? She's assuming he wasn't, like, bullied out of school or some shit? Makes me think you didn't leave your school out of necessity. Or uh, ne necessitary. Oh, not the necessitaries. <clears throat> if fucking up royally, doesn't that mean you have to leave at a necessity? Maybe not. I don't know. I know you're kind. It all just came out of nowhere. I mean, jeez. We were talking about how she can't get friends, and now she wants to know that? Oh, God. I'm getting hot. Oh. It's Trish. Oh. Trish told Fang, and now she knows everything. Why would Trish know, huh? Play dumb. Hopefully that will work. I got no clue what you're talking about. Honestly? Me neither. <laughs> you're just some loser that knows nothing about music. You come in from your cave where even your parents must have wanted you gone. Damn, and yet you're now both my science and music partner? On top of worming your way in with my band and with my friends? Anon, what is there to understand? <laughs> hey, you okay? You got a crush. You want me? That's funny. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, she's like, you want me. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'll almost miss you when you leave and start finding your own friends. <sighs> when you say bang, with a roll of her eyes, she returns to scrolling through her phone again. I seriously wonder now what she meant. You could ask. I gotta go. <laughs> You're leaving so soon? I'm going to the bathroom, stupid. I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> Whew. She's on the offense. <laughs> she knows. But how? We don't even know. Right? She left her phone on the desk. I can see the imprint of the password being illuminated by the room's lights. It wouldn't be right. The password is in on the phone? Like, maybe you see his fingerprints, like a 1, 2, 3, 4 pattern or something. How would you know which one came first? I have to know. I reach over to pick up the phone. The movement in the corner of my eye solidifies me. Uh, Why is Reed still here? He didn't see a fucking big old inflatable dinosaur it's smoking coma. <laughs> Ooh, dot 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 snort. Oh, thank Raptor Jesus, he's asleep. Hmm. His password is. Wait, only the one key is smudged? I guess it worked until now. Ah, the messenger app. What? He got in? Yeah. Thank God. Oh no. Can you grab the straw? What is happening? Is, is it on my leg? Oh. Yeah. Thank goodness. Thank God. Yesterday was weird. See you at the auditorium at lunch. Yeah, after science period. Need some update from you. See ya. Oh, look, I can do this. Oh, man. 
Ugh. I'm livid. Is that her coming back? You haven't come over in weeks. I miss you a lot. Wish you were right here with me. Trust me, Fang. I will help you like always. So gray is purple dinosaur. I feel better. Hopefully, Sage is still my science partner. Ooh. Nope. Haven't seen Nasser. Good. Fuck him. Here, here. Oh, so we didn't really learn anything, right? Nope. Uh, can we do something? Wait, what the hell? What do I gotta do? Save, apparently. Uh, <laughs> that's my wife. Always saving. So... Going normally to the right doesn't isn't working. That's going backwards. Typing something? <laughs> we'll go all Oh, hmm. They're surprisingly not a lot. They it seems like seems they interact mostly in person. What did I even just accomplish? I shouldn't have looked. All because of my paranoia. I just violated someone's privacy. Mm-hmm. I can feel a pin open in my stomach. Really? I shouldn't have done it. Trish is Fang's friend, not me. God damn it, Anna. What the fuck is wrong with you? I set the phone back where it was. I glance back at Reed and confirm he's still unconscious. What's another secret to keep? Each one is just building on the last. <laughs> the growing maw in my gut threatens to make me violently ill. Hmm, that's something to realize about the human condition. Oi. <clears throat> I'm startled as Fenra <coughs> takes her seat. Did you manage to do anything on the sheet? I simply shake my head and show her the incomplete worksheet. Fang size frustrated. <clears throat> Look, if I'm being a bother. It's simple, you dweeb. Fang began breaking down the questions, her tone less condescending than when we initially started. The way she explained it, it was infinitely better than how Mr. Jingo did at the start of class. Over time, the sheet was slowly filled in, and things finally started to click now. Looks like you got the hang of this a bit. Good job, dork. Fang smirks a bit. I see a chance to strike. I just want to have an actual decent teacher. Psh slight red tint tells me I was right on the mark. Oh, can you also talk, teach me about pronouns next? Uh, With my dick in your mouth? Dump, dump, There's dump. also the steady thump, thump, thump of her tail on the back of her seat. Clue me in. I can't help thinking of tugging on the appendage. Ooh. Ooh the tail. <laughs> Ooh, the thumping. Thump, thump, this is thump, the thump, rhythm thump, of the night. Thump, 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 thump. Hey, uh, is... Is your tail drumming right now? Oh, my special ability? Yeah, it's nothing. Kinda.
I'm feeling out a rhythm, thinking of a new song. She's feeling the rhythm of the night. <laughs> Is that normally part of the creative process? Maybe, maybe not. Are you done with the packet yet? I groan. What do you mean, maybe, maybe not? If you're doing it. Still got half a page left. That's just a crossword puzzle. I'm not helping if you can't even do that. I know, I know. I have to resort to good old logic to solve the crossword. The longest and shortest words are easy enough to figure out. But, uh... Thanks for helping me with the assignment, I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. There's that red tint again. Ooh, I'm showing you my body's hot for you. Ooh. I'll help again, I mean, if you need it. If you need it so bad, if you're desperate for it. Really, thanks. <laughs> yeah, just. Ding dong. Bing bong. Ding dong. Uh oh, hot dog. That's the bell telling us to piss off to the last period. Crap, I still got a few words left. I guess the last few words and rush over teacher's desk to turn it in. She won't even just tell him. Fuck it. When I turn back, catch the sight of Fang leaving the room in a hurry, tail between her legs. She's not that bad once you get to know her. I guess he was right after all. No, because he used them they words. <laughs> God, I feel like a jerk now. Yeah, you can't. That can't slip. If you, it, there's no way that that's not gonna come up as a problem again. Like, oh, you're trying to use words to define things instead of letting what those things are define themselves, and using words to describe that instead of fucking an, an agenda. It's been a couple days since I snooped on Fang's phone. Oh god, it still gives me fucking measles. <laughs> My boils. Ooh. The guilt still weighs on me, but I found a way to cope with it. Even more aggressive shit posting on a Hungarian steak sampling vlog site. Uh -huh. I would be. We should see if one of those exists and then find this guy who's been uh, making this game. Oh, I found you. Right? I think you're so clever. And I would be enjoying my day by myself in my apartment playing games and ship hosting. It's Saturday after all. Except I'm walking to school. Fuck my life. Turns out school keeps a log of what the Wi-Fi bandwidth goes to. What the Wi-Fi? The IT guy wasn't too thrilled to see I've been using it to download the entire Saturnia collection. Spears sends me to one week campus beautification for using taxpayer money on a few dozen gigs of video. Well, now I know to space the torrenting out a bit more. As I get closer to the dreaded building, the more I thought of ditching crosses my mind. But then the thought of Principal Spears pops up and violently pile drives it into a Prius. Weird though, weird thought, but because, but enough to discourage me from ditching. Right? So I was hoping we would get to a choice soon and we could stop it there and be like, hey. So here I am now, walking. Rock, rocking you like a hurricane. To the side. Walking you like a hurricane. To the garden hurricane, where everything's dead now. I can see the others are here as well. Probably all for detention, too. Wait a second. Isn't that Fang? Why is she walking, talking to that green weirdo from before? Wait a sec. Are they getting closer? Closer? No, I am. <laughs> Why did I walk up to them? 
saying Fang only made the guilt more intense. I cast my gaze aside instead. Most of the flower bulbs are still submerged for the winter, but a few are peeking out. A few? Seems pretty flowery to me. Oh, there's like a big crystal in the background. I know there's some game that had like purple crystals coming out of it. I don't remember which one. Hmm. Clash of Clans, maybe, or some shit? Who the fuck? <clears throat> Is this going to become a dating sim eventually? I see you are admiring our work. The gardening club takes much pride in our flowers. Wash it! For such a large girl, she's surprisingly stealthy. Good morning. Rosa, I'm ready for today. Good morning, Rosa. Ready for today? See! Si! <laughs> uh, it's a Spanish dinosaur. It's a beautiful day for gardening, isn't it? Ah. Uh, they're Mexican dinosaurs. The dinosaurs form another language. There's a Sailor Moon dinosaur. Why shouldn't there be a Mexican dinosaur? Who's gonna wash? Trump's dirty toilet. Am I right? <laughs> dinosaur Trump. <clears throat> the dinosaur Biden. Dinosaur everybody. everybody just... Back and forth like they do now. But in dinosaur form. But er. at least you could exit the game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't exit this. Nope. Er, you want to be here? Rosa's the head of the gardening club. Get it, Rosa? Yeah. Judging by Fang's tone, she's been through this kind of detention multiple times already. Oh, does he wish to join our club? <laughs> Is that why he's here? Stella. Stella, we have a new member. Oh! Wonderful. Dang, that was a power up. My eyes are drawn I to the... I pooped myself, too. Drawn to the Stego, <sighs> who I immediately recognize from that encounter with the cards. Hey, you're that weird Stego from the other day. The Prego Stego. Prego Stego. Her smile falters ever so slightly. Did I get the wrong person? Stego Moon. My name is Stella, and I'm not weird. My name is Stella, and I'm not weird. Right. So, what was with the Pocket Raptors card? I was just saying what my tarot guidebook told me. The, uh, work of the astrologer is to show people what fate has in store for them. And that's what I do. Astrologer? Really? But there will always be those who aren't able to accept what their fortune tells. Uh, that's retarded. A, that's retarded. Two, astrology is retarded. And thirdly, that sounds like something from a bad video game. What's a video game? Damn, he wasn't so fucking pushy with the other shit. But he's pushy with astrology? Why are you so not mean to these fucking girls? No, oh, I, oh. The sulky steg, sulky? Stego is pulled into a hug by the happy Hispanic girl. There, there, Stella. You're still my flam. No matter how much of the black arts you believe. Uh, you're one to talk about believe in black arts, Rosa. Uh, we've seen you sacrifice chickens. You and your magic dino in the sky. A uh, pinche pagana. You're lucky I don't. Get all your asses out for right now. <laughs> the caveman bellows reverberates through the entire school, even. Even though I'm pretty sure he wasn't using the PA system. He's a monkey, but this dude's a dude. So it's like, 
I kind of beat you in evolution. Yeah. I beat all these people. Not wanting to piss him off even more, I follow the others to where Principal Spears has a few other students gathered in front of him. The only one I recognize is the guy Trish had in a headlock that one day. Didn't expect you of all people to get detention. Why not? It takes me a moment to realize Fang is talking to me. Eh? I er used too much of the school's bandwidth. I got fucking detention for that? Ugh. You use too much of our precious bandwidth for downloading things. What? Spears catch you downloading porn in the library or something? <sighs> no. Just torrenting, like TV shows that I can't get on cable. She raises an eyebrow like she doesn't believe me, but doesn't follow it up. Assuming bitch. She must never find out if that's Saturnia. Yeah, it turned out. I love Saturnia too. I have OnlyFans where I dress up as that character. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it, Anon. I think that's just about everyone. Not that he gave me much of a choice. You can thank Naomi that you got off of cancer campus beautification. She was quite adamant. That would be more constructive than homeroom detention. Again. God damn it. My first schedule and lunch card. Now this. Can't she just leave me alone already? Was she narked on him or some shit? All right. I'm sure you're all familiar with Rosa. She'll be supervising today. If I hear a bad word about you. I think I can fill in the rest. Yar, yar. Spears nod to Rosa, who reminds me of Naomi, with how overly happy she looks. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you so much for coming out to help with campus beautification today. If we all work hard and have a good time, we could get done before you know it. How can anyone be so enthusiastic about coming to school on a weekend? So, by the end of the day, we need to get weeding done in the gardens, as well as replanting older flowers, and some of the vines are ready to be trimmed back. <laughs> Make sure you all wear a pair of gloves and return them before you leave. 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 Oh, what the plan? Fingerless don't count. Panties? Whoa. You should all pair off now to split the work evenly. Decide amongst yourselves. Even in detention, the partner curse. Haunts me. Oh, you're made for each other, bros. Everyone else almost immediately groups off. Leaving just me and take a wild guess who else. <coughs> I don't like <laughs> I don't like how often this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Should I go get more milk? Mm hmm. Okay. And more water. Or a little bit of tea. Oh. <sighs> Wait. Dang it. Can't say I'm a big fan neither. 
Whatever, let's just take my trimming. I get this over with. Ugh. Fang starts heading to one of the ladders already set up near the wall. Wait, don't you need gloves? What? I'm not a wuss. Got my helmet. You get some if you're so concerned about getting a few cuts. I just don't get this chick sometimes. <clears throat> Didn't this character say... Oh no, that was some YouTube guy. Never mind. I just remembered I cut myself all the time. <laughs> I get a pair of gloves and some loppers and rejoin Fang at the ladder. Alright, cool. Give me the snippy thing. I don't like the idea of you with a weapon very much. She flashes an evil grin. Ha <laughs> ha. Edgy. Hold the ladder, Stelly, while I do this. I've been here a few times. This is the easiest job of the three. If you say so. Fang is quick to scale the ladder. Don't you have wings? Leaving me to hold it in place. I wish I could ship post on my phone right now to distract myself, but my hands are occupied. Fang's disregard of me is made extremely clear as she carelessly lets the remnants of dead vines rain down my head. <clears throat> kind of glad I don't have hair because I can't imagine how bad it would be to have these sticky plants bits sticky sticky plant bits tangled in it oh I shift the ladder over but you're still on it don't feel like getting down come on you can't be that weak whatever I shimmy the ladder to the side bangs weight makes the process more difficult Damn my scrawny arms. Not damn her. Alright, this is good. She goes back to clipping vines and dropping them on my head. It's started building up on my shoulders and neck now. And now the spots the vines have touched start to itch. Hey... She remains focused on the vines, dropping the largest clump directly on my face. Hey! Never mind. <clears throat> the follow-up clump was even bigger and lands right in my mouth. After I finish spitting the wad of dead vegetation from my mouth, I try one last time to get her attention. Fang! Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm real glad we ain't got the leaves on. Ha ha ha. That's the, uh, that's the plastic. Oh my god, we drank all our tea? Just a gallon. It's not even been a week. Yeah. It's good for us tea. Allegedly. Through my blurred vision, I can make out Fang's tail, slowly shifting side to side. And an evil idea comes to mind to get her attention. There's a less evil one, too. Something that it just shock her. Hmm. Oh, we got a place to stop, husband. Yeah, we have a choice to tug at her tail or tug at her ankle. <clears throat> Are you making something? Something you can, uh, stop the stream for us? Ugh. Whew. 
I just realized I gotta pee now. You saved, wife? Uh huh. We did it. Awesome. We made it so far. What do you think we're gonna do? Touch your butt or touch your ankle? Going to jail for sexual harassment. He said he wanted to touch your tail earlier. Mm. Like, I feel inclined to touch it. Mm. Maybe this is where he goes to jail for the rest of his life. I don't know. Good thing we saved. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. 